I hope we get in this game. I'm pretty good against enemy draft. I have zero hearts to see, besides like brand Q. So I'm very, very good into enemy draft here. If I'm not sure about the Jay's mid pick because now we kind of have an 80 heavy damage profile with Velvet Jay's Riven top side. I'm not too happy with the Jay's pick, but other than that, I mean Seraphine is gonna have to go full AP here. Yo Gloop, you're first again, my man. Good to see you, bro. Alright, let's go. Yo, Top Nivir, your Storm Crow. Welcome, Rose. No dodge. Very good. Welcome, Rose. Yo, Dark Blades, your Storm Crow. Yo, Astro Brace, Snoop God. Welcome, Rose. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead into the game here. Ooh, they have the Primal Beast. That was the Malzar from the other day. Why is, why is first time Chatter coming with the estimation mark fat? What is that even all about? Welcome guys, yo Tizer, yo Jusra, yo Epic Baller. Alright, uh, I could go D-Blade or Longshot 3. I like Longshot 3 because it allows me to trade a little bit more aggressive and trade some HP. We play against some Chinese Aatrox. Yo Zero, yo Akinel. Yo Kuba, especially for OBs, come on man. It's not, it's not that severe. What time is it there? It is 4pm for me right now. <clears throat> Thank you, Kuba. Appreciate it, bro. Guys, we're two wins away from Grand Maestro. Let's get there first and let's keep it going. Yo, Y Sardinio, Jofarex. Exclamation or greedy little piggy. You're talking about yourself. Huh? Alright. Is that a word? Could be in this bush, right? I'm not sure. This wall's so narrow. Always gotta be a little mindful. No, that was the oh, job for I've X. Ever seen in my life. Thank you for the 10. Starting stream solid, bro. <laughs> for luck? Okay. Okay. I mean, I feel really energetic today. It is minimum grandmaster today. I'm done being a stuck piggy. I feel like my performance is good though. I can go full authority set up against their comp. They have like zero hearts to see. Well, full authority. It's like Eclipse, Solid Sky, Profaint. Alright, see if we can play first. Bone Plating first. Looks like we're playing against a passive Aatrox here. D shoot NTP. Alright, that was a little aggressive by the boy. Not gonna let that one go slight. All right with that trait. I have three potions. He has one, and that is why I got three potions to this matchup. He wants to do a dive. I mean, we could do it on this wave. I'm down to do that. And this is why I like three potions to Aatrox. I'm gonna last at latest frame, so this wave might actually push into me. So it becomes monster gankable here. Beautiful. Hey, hey, yo, bro. That was completely unnecessary. Yeah, I can't push this in. Like, what? You completely agree with me with that one. Trust me, I know when I should push or slow push my wave. Better than a jungler. Oh, good dog at the first blood, so we're chilling. But I lose a lot of XP from that. And the wave's in an awkward spot now. Did he just E auto that? Don't get level 4. Usually I should be level 4 here. All good. He has a ward here. He's not gonna check this. He might check the second bush though. He should hit level 4. Oh. Oh, Blight. Really good keep by him. I tried to hide behind the me and... This is legit because of... Th this is genuinely... I'm gonna show in the replay why this Velvet cucked me so effing hard here by the way. Because I was having to push the wave here instead of here, and that's because he pushed the wave. He inted me really, really hard. He doesn't know, but he inted me 
disgustingly hard by doing that W on the wave. Yo, Bebop Jenkins, I'm doing amazing. I lose a full wave now. This is Sir Molin. Alright. Remind me that after this game, guys, I'll show you guys the replay, okay? I need to guys show you guys the replay and, show and sh explain thoroughly what happened and why what Belvedere did was so bad. Really upsetting. But it's okay. We're still in a fine position. Adrian's got the kill as well. And I lost the full wave, so we're, we're actually behind now in this matchup. In terms of EXP, at least. I mean, a little bit in gold as well. I'll probably set up another recall here. He's gonna have Tabis for sure. Where is he? Oh, he's not going Tabis. That's a mistake. He is supposed to rush Tabis in his. Oh. He is supposed to rush Tabis in this matchup. <laughs> Alright, go on. Alright, that's good. Well done. I'm gonna go play for the grubs. I lose one melee here, probably maximum. I didn't check when he got level 5, but he's gonna hit this level 6 way faster than me, anyways. Oh shit. Not much to do there. A good attempt, but yeah. This guy still has flush too. Alright, alright, gotta meet this guy. Pings. Alright, it's six exactly from the wave. I'm a slightly bad in XP here. Yo, Rafix! Brand is passing to the top here. I need to play for my Ignite. He's still a slush advantage though. Ooh, he used E. That's the most important ability in this matchup, actually. His E is what's keep him safe or not. If he E's into me, he's a sitting duck for me. Next time he plays it like that, I'll all in him. My John is taking Dragon, and I assume Brand is looking top lane here. Could be a lane gank angle too. Wow, that still pulls me. Yep, I knew it. I should have respected it. I'm a pig. I should have respected it. I called it. But I'm greedy. I am greedy. There was a high potential. We were getting the dragon. I shouldn't look for a single or trade. I am just a greedy pig. And I die on my turn too. Or on his turn rather. So he is gonna get my kill. I lose a wave and he's gonna get a plate. Really, really bad here. Shit. It was obvious. It was obvious. Well, it wasn't super obvious, but there was a potential. And I should have just played save. Alright. I had ego. Oh, good. We lose a cannon. He doesn't get the second plate at least. He's very greedy himself. Why is he still here? What? Why did he just die for? I mean, we're both griefing. <laughs> I guess we're shut down. He doesn't have TP. I don't know why he stayed. For a play that probably wouldn't have changed anything. I like how this guy teaches fundamentals but doesn't use them himself. I'm not a perfect player, buddy. We're gonna get one plate and recall. There we go. We're gonna be just a no for the eclipse here. So we're in a good spot now. I don't want this push. He's going for profane rush. Okay, I respect it. I think my botlane is chilling here. Not even close. I get one potion. Okay. This guy is rushing Bork? That would make sense. What is this else build into? Sure. Okay. Ah, 
absolute grief. A little bit of Velvet. I probably shouldn't take all the kills. I don't know where both playing so disrespectful. Okay. Rank up Utopia's playing with Flesh. A lot of Bread players play with Ghosts, but this guy's playing with Flesh, so something to remind. Alright, PSTP. Should recall for CDR boots. He's going top is now. Brand could gank this too. Alright, I'm just gonna arbitrage this. What are you doing? You just saw Velvet. Wow, did I get outplayed by him! Wow, that was so clean actually, the flesh. Oh, she queued twice, it was a bug! It was a bug! Her Q went twice. Ah, the Atrix have played me so hard. Ah! My Velvet Q went twice, I'm pretty sure it was bu a bug there. What the Atrix did was... Q2, E? And then he... No. He Q2 flashed into Q3, E. And I didn't expect that at all. Alright, he's gonna disrespect the chat. You know what, I'll keep him. I'm not gonna mute him. I'll humble him in silence. It's okay. It's not like Brent hasn't been to blame, buddy. Shut your mouth. My bad, though. I had to play that better. There you go, piggies. That's better. We're on a good spot. I can still kill him, he has no flash. When did he double kill me? I'm gonna look in chat. I'm gonna see a timer when he double kill when he killed me. See when he shut me down at 9.48, so about 9.45 he flashed. So 14.45 is top. That's his flash timer. I'll kill him. This wave slow pushing into me so I can do golems. No, I can't. I'll have ult here. I have flash advantage. I can kill him. He does have tabis now. Bitch. Cute laid. Alright, very good. Now we're strong. Now we're strong. If you a gap close to your opponent with full kill lay, you basically win the fight always. Because I'm already gonna have all my conqueror stack before the fight. And then I get my Q back with full stack conqueror. Alright, we got second item, time to run bots, shut down this, and then we're gonna carry. We're gonna lock in, guys, so let's go. Four fan next. Got a full item ahead. My bot lane still got the turret first, well done to them. You guys know who a good coach is? Ben the Jimmy, thank the you for the primary, appreciate boss man. guy's good. This guy still doesn't have flash. Brand stack 2. Hi, Master Piggy. I will be Master of the today. I'll still be a pig though. Got 
after all five here. Number one HP. And two people. I don't have any vision, bro. Brand is flush again for sure. I slow push this wave, hard push next. Reset the side wave. Look for camps or look for kills or roam mid. Something like this. Next wave is coming. So we can start pushing. This is the wave we hard push. I'm gonna move. What are we doing? I need a bit more gold. <gasps> the brand Q dodge. Perfect cycle of E and Q. And Eclipse, baby. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at my three items. Look at my sexy, smexy three items. Now we probably need death stuns. on that guy maybe I need more of my opponents to type XD to me so I get motivated
I have a bunker shot down. My entire team is actually still hinting it. Oops. Why would he take that just before minute 20? I'm gonna have flesh. Okay, living there is massive and they lost zero flushes. I'm gonna flush her. We have no blue trinkets at the moment. We can use Senault. The problem this game is that I'm such a big objective on the map for enemy team to play for. Yeah, it sucks that I'm walking shot down. I'm not allowed to. What? So you want me on games, baby? <clears throat> Jace is to pee. Run flash. I think I'll go Edge of Night. I can buy it at once. Better here. I don't have flesh either. Let's look in, guys. We need to do a few more of those and we win the game. <laughs> look at these. They're still 1 in 16, bro. Still two two turrets to play for, by the way. What is my Sienna doing? I have to perma threaten to move to mid so enemy team can play. I think we much rather make a play here. Uh, look, when I perma fog like this, 
Senna's bluffing here, walking up 1v2. They don't even know I'm not here, you know? That's what Senna's allowed to do when I'm in Fog. Does that make sense? Whenever I'm in Fog, enemy team cannot play on mid lane because they're scared of Riven being there permanently. That's why I'm just roaming. I'm just adding pressure. They have no idea where I'm at right now. And that makes the game unplayable for them. And now I'm gonna move back to side. Just standing in focus enough there for my team. Just stay for one more turret. Rent has no flash. Now I move both. Now I back off. One and a half for my flesh. Don't make plays without me, please. They have no flashes. We're locked in this game. They have no flesh. We shouldn't be walking up without flesh. And they have half instantly. That's so annoying. Is their ego really that big? And again, again. I'm not allowed to make a single mistake. If I make a single mistake, we still lose this game. Wow, I did no damage anymore. Why did I not do damage? I'll build this. Now we're full build. Two minutes for soul. Bro, this game. Look at my 1k Twitch. He's gonna have infinite edge. That's not good. Okay, massive full blade. We get tier 2 on Jace as well. My Velvet is still playing amazing. And you know what's very lucky here? You know what's very, very lucky? Is that... Oh, Mortal Remind is actually not bad either. I like Mortal Remind here. Good suggestion. Um, that these two champions, even though they're 1 and 12, they still have utility. They can heal, Senna, the stun, slows, or like a, a, a root, I guess, and Seraphine has the insane ultimate, right? So even though they're absolutely useless this game, they are still useful because they have utility. That's a good thing. But they're griefing continuously. Can you guys play around me? So the game is just free. Nice, Jace. You got so much here. I got a potion. Okay, Jace got a lot there. He's uh, gonna have, at least have a full stroll, just. Yo, Wazek. He is Infinity Edge now. He's very strong. This guy is 4 items, not 2. For some reason, this Aatrox has 10 kills. Not a fan. All good though. Velvet has 3 items, but this 3. This guy's probably gonna have 3. 4. This game's not free yet. Please don't go for place here. Please go as 5. Hi. Okay, I guess Velvet things. Okay. That champion, I guess. Okay, my bad, I wasn't familiar with your game. <clears throat> Is Jace's FK? No. Watch this. We can play for Nush too. So I'm moving here already. Switch is here probably somewhere in stealth. But he's left now. He's gonna collect this wave. There he is. I had a feeling. 
I had nothing. That's my first assist this game. What? I should give them the means. Now what I'll always say is because he's smart and people nice. take him seriously. Thank you, Apiarovitz. One, two, sub check. Yes, sir. Thank you for the six. Okay. Not sure. I need to wait for midline pressure. I want to say is you for tier one. Can a champion die? Like what? What? How is he alive? It's genuinely a tiny, 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 tiny bit insane, by the way. Complexity, thank you for the tier 1, and MP Darwin, thank you for the tier 1 as well. I don't know how he lived there, by the way. Are they gonna end? Wait. My team did not want to win these three. Oh, that is a tilter, man. Oh, that is a tilter. They did not want to win. Oh, well, it happens. Oh. These three just did not want to win. Another S plus loss, man. Higgs. It is what it is, huh? Man, how many of those do I have to sit through to finally start climbing, though? Holy moly! <laughs> Thank you for the five, bro. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it immensely. I appreciate the gesture, also. Try to cheer me up. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you guys one thing in the review. Oh, how many of these do I need to sustain to... Start winning again! That's okay. Sorry. Alright, we're good again. Okay, look. My Belvet does a massive blunder here. Yeah, it's not who a good coach is. Azogado, or thank you for the prime. That guy is good. Okay. We kill him here. No escape for him. Right? And so now, we don't have enough time to push in this before this one arrives. I mean, if we if both push... Wallop, I'm straight up, thank you for the prime as well. I appreciate it, guys. But, the problem is, if we push this, it's not good enough for me. I'm healthy enough. I'm full HP almost. I have a potion. I'm gonna hit level 3. What I want to do is slow push this wave. Hard push this wave, and I'm happy. But Velvet ints me here by doing it. This. Killing those two casters. It seems minor, but what this does now is push this wave so fast that I cannot slow push this. I cannot allow this wave to move until here, right? So even though I'm going to last it at latest frames here pretty much, instead of this wave right now, his next wave reaching here, it's going to reach here. And that's going to make it harder for me to crash this wave. So you see I'm lasting at latest frames possible, 
But now, instead of, again, this wave meeting here, it's meeting here. And that's because he killed the two casters. And now it's infinitely harder for me to try and get this in. In fact, Brent should already be walking top. Him doing this camps is kind of int. He should already be killing me. But if I was laning here, it's completely different. Also, shouldn't have looked for this trade. I should have used my ability to push out this wave and be happy. I was looking too much to trade here. And yeah, now I guess I still have the chance to walk away. But I have to get this to crash, right? Else it's too bad for me. And now I guess I should have kept walking. I guess I should have kept walking. But that's because Belved pushed the wave here. He never should have. Never should have pushed there. Now I want to see this end. How did Aatrox not die? Oh, I thought we just end here. She sent. With open access. <sighs> Look at my Senna again. Just full griefing it the whole game. For fun. Just walking up, hitting somebody again. Like he didn't do that 10 times already. Wait, did I alter the Nexus? That's too fast, oops. Right. I have to go over my champion. Bro, how often will the scene switch? I hit the nexus. I hit the nexus. <laughs> that's why he lived. And that's why we lost in the end. Him staying alive is crucial. Crazy. Oh, guys, that one is a tilter, man. To the maximum degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course I lost because of my team, but I don't know. Oh, so many up losses like these, by the way. This one was another one. Just full griefers. So often lately. It is rough, my guys. It is absolutely rough. That's okay. We're gonna get rewarded eventually. We will. We have to. But man, is it a stretch. Thank you, Sparky. I am still fan, though. I'm completely fine. I gotta go to the toilet for this one quickly, though. Why do I have a Lux Eddie carry? Thank you for the scam train, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, well done, Astro Luffy. One, two, three. Thank you for your kind message, bro. Well done. I right, we're running against a uh, Rumble here. Not an easy matchup at all. But what I'll be doing into Rumble Azir. Because we're running into those two. So I'll just go. Mm, full scaling. And now I'm always fine letting it to him. I want to top lane. Which course should I get? Complexit underscore ye. Always start off with the laning phase course because you're going to be playing your laning phase 10 or every game, right? You're playing your lane every game and how good your mid to late game is will also be a direct result of how good your laning phase went. So I highly recommend to start off with the laning phase course always. And then you can always use the 30% discount later for the mid to late course. But you, your laning phase is your, is, is your foundation. Can you go without Chroma? Yes. Right. I believe we're going to go into this game. And I'm going to quickly run to the toilet. So I'm beat up back, okay guys? I'm going to switch the scene already. I hope it goes through. This is my room page. Second wind, scaling health, ability haste. I'm going to go digital TP. Beat up back. Switching the scenes.
Perfect timing. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, we play against a Rumble with the Flash Ignite Comet Resolve, the most standard setup, what you'll see. Now, one thing that you need to know about Rumble, guys, is that Rumble revolves around his passive. Whenever Rumble... Um, yo, Punch Your Burrito, that might be good, actually. I tried to lock him to my team. I don't think we're gonna be there. I messed up. Ah. If I wasn't on the toilet, I'd probably have a kill here. Ah, uh, we're, we're alone here, buddy. Our entire team left. Okay, I don't have to kill. Okay, so what I was explaining about Rumble, guys. I can't recall anymore. Um, Rumble is a very good level 1 champion. And that is because it, he revolves... Why do you flash at the end? He lets me auto-attack him like 50 times and then flashes. Okay, good. Let's focus here. Use Flash Ignite. Okay, Rumble revolves around his passive. He cannot ever get above 50 energy at level 1. And once he's 50 energy, his abilities get empowered. And he also can- okay. He also cannot get his passive um, to 150 until he's level 3. I lock in. I wanna do the Rift Crusher. But he's gonna have his Q, which is gonna be annoying. And the wave is in a very annoying spot too. Usually I want to do second wave crash against Rumble, because now I can make it very annoying. I got a hard focus on the wave, but he might still look to kill me. His Q is coming back. There's level 3. I cannot get it in. That was a good bait. I think Poppy finishes it. Nice. Oh, he trades it though. Oh, good. I could have still. If Poppy wasn't here, I would have just base TP'd, but it's still really worth it what happened here. It was the entire wave, and it's gonna bounce back into me. Okay, we get Kalm Kalmski on Lux. He's a Lux player, so that's good. Uh... I managed to keep my TP here as well, which is amazing. Because that's gonna give me a. Are you going Worlds London Alloys? Because if you are, we are going gym. I want to, rival. I want to. I actually would love to meet you, Rival. I hope you're doing amazing too, boss. It's amazing to see you. Okay, he's going top side. He has no flash. I can't one shot him, most likely. Let's see. He has no flag. There we go. Very good early game here. I still have my TP as well, so I can always get one free out of Jill card out of this annoying laning phase. Are we dead? No, we should. He didn't even hit level 4. I expect him to hit level 5 from one melee here. Because he did get solo kill XP on the poppy earlier. Thank you, Ethereal ZA. Appreciate it. I can look for some small trades because I can eventually set up my reset here. He did not hit level 5 yet. He can't get his passive here to 150 stacks. I can't explain exactly how Rumble energy management works, but keep in mind, he can only use 80 energy in one combo. So if he's ever at 60, he cannot get his passive. That's something you need to know. He, if he has two E's charged and WQ, 80 energy max. All his abilities cost 20 energy each. 
So right now, you can always proc his passive. W cube procs his passive here. I'm gonna hit level 6 here soon, though. And if I can stay healthy enough, I might get a kill window, especially with him using Q like that to bounce the wave into me again. His bone plating is rough. Okay, his po him using potion there is really smart by him. Try to see if I can bait out this passive. Oh, he didn't do it. One meter gets me level 6, but I not, might not be able to hide it here. Oh, he's dead. I broke your passive in my face, bro. He was dead even without ult. That was one of the worst rumble plays I've ever seen. Proking, proking, okay, so two things that you need to recognize. If Rumble, okay, so listen, okay, listen very closely. I'm gonna try and explain it as brief as I can. Rumble has two, like, things in his passive. His first point of his passive is if he's above 50 energy, his abilities do extra damage. That's the first part of his passive. Then, if he reaches 150 Fury, he deals, the, he gets his passive fully overheated, right? Now, what is so important to know is that whenever Rumble overheats, Basically, his, ne no, his next rotation of abilities are absolutely useless because he does not have above 50 energy. And then he used it in my face whilst my cooldowns are coming back and I even had my level 6 timer. So he would never get the overheat and he would never get like his abilities with 60 heat after the after the thing, right? Okay, uh, mid got solo borrowed. Uh, this is time to run. Played by Poppy. I actually probably should walk back. Yeah, I should have walked back because I also don't have potions. Oh, what? What is that guy doing? Okay. Now I have Eclipse for free. Guys, I'm gonna completely lock in this game. I am not looking to lose another game. I want to absolutely win this game. Because last game has annoyed me immensely. And I'm not gonna make a single mistake this game. Lock in. I'm gonna play perfect macro now with my lead. I'm gonna play Risk Averse. My AD carry played very well on the weak side here. I absolutely love to see that. Well played Lux, playing good on the weak side. Alright, we're now back in the game from that. We have our Eclipse already at minute 8. We get Sweeper now to deny him vision. Rumble does not have Flash. So one thing I can always do is Q delay and get on top of him and solo bolo him. Last match what happened is they had open Nexus. We died and they ended the game. That's what happened. My bot lane was 2-17 and 17 and they just threw the game completely. They did not want to win even though I was 15 kills. That's okay. We move on to the next one. I'm gonna E here to get my passive stacks up. This wave is slowly pushing into me, so I can just take this for fun. Well, for free, rather. Or for fun. Alright. This guy has no flesh, so all I want to do is Q delay, get on top of him, and then one-shot him. Preferably get his bone putting out first. So here's the first Q delay. Again. Okay, he's gonna ult the wave, that's smart. I'm gonna push this out so I can maybe roam here. That's a really good pop build. I'm just wasting time here, by the way. <clears throat> I would prefer to get rid of his bomb plating first, then I can one shot him. I can also just look to slow push this wave, hard push next, reset, get CDR boots, and then on the next time he's guaranteed that. Plus I'll have lower cooldown on my flesh. I don't have to kill him right here. Being able to play like this against Rombo is already a blessing. I outskill him infinitely anyways. So, since he's not walking up here anyways, hard push this wave. 
instigate the bounce recall and I'm about to kill him. Rombo has two options now. Okay, I lose the play there. I should have paid attention to that, but that's okay. Rombo has two hard pushes, wave. If he wants to set up his own reset again. But I might be back in time to set up a freeze. And if he recalls, the way we push it would be anyways two. Or it'd be like even, I guess. No, okay, he's gonna push it. Okay, no, he's actually gonna drag the wave and make it push into him. Okay, that's very smart. But what I can do right now is full Q delay, get on top of him with flash and one shot him. I'm gonna show you what I mean. And that's because I have 38 haste now too. So, full Q delay. I'm gonna get close to him, he just used W. Second Q. I need to walk a little closer. You see how my Q is only two seconds? I'm gonna hide that though, I'm gonna act like it's longer cooldown. Now he doesn't know how long it is. Kill, I guess. AKA, Riven choosing to have cooldowns or not. That's what you do against an opponent that does not have flash. And that's why I see the Arbus on the Riven are so ridiculously broken. Any kill lays in my chat? Any kill lays in my chat? Nice. My weak side bot lane is smurfing it and getting the Oriana back in the game permanently. Do I want to take this? The kite is passive. Look, his abilities deal no damage now because he has no energy. Remember, after Rumble has used his passive, he has a zero, zero energy. He does not deal damage. We're gonna keep playing perfect macro here. My team, especially mid lane, is kind of making this game a little hard. But I know my AD carry is a high elo player. I have TP here. I can TP here. I'm almost two items. I'm gonna walk with the Nautilus. Cause he's clearing the vision too. Oh shit. I get to stay bot lane here anyways. This game is over, guys. I will take over. I will absolutely take over. You don't give me this much gold. You don't. Simply don't. By the way, the reason I know so well how to manage Rumble's cooldowns and energy right now, you know why? Because I made a matchup on the Rumble. It's ready for the course now, too. Did you? Yeah, but I know Komsky. He's actually a really good player. He's always been high low. And my drum is playing about well too, around me. So what happens when my team actually wants to win. The game's become a little easier. Nice, we get mid. Ooh, that doesn't cancel. I don't wanna... Nike, like, crash this wave. Make sure you crash into the tier 2. So will bounce back into me. Oh, Thank you, Falbanam. I appreciate it, bro. How's the tournament matchup? Mmm... Pretty shit for Riven. Rumble's gonna kill my Uriana, I have a feeling. She's very close to setups. One more, she has setup shoot. Piggy. Piggy! Hey! Stop my movement speed. True, we also have Palo Canona. That is true as well. She has setup, so I think she's fine with face rush. Thought. Boys. I am so strong now. Need the locket. Paula Canona. Alright, Defa. Game's over. 
Maybe not. Did we get Grandmaster yet? This should have been the game that gets us to Grandmaster, but sadly we lost last game. Even though I was 15 and 2. Or no, 15 and 5, I think, at the end. That's okay. We'll hit Grandmaster today. Oops. Sona's not old. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Should have turned faster. Red Rising, thank you, Prime. I should have turned faster. I was waiting for the Kaiser to ult into me, but she never did, which was really, really smart by her, by the way. But that's why it looks so wonky, my play. I expected her to ult onto me, so I didn't have to use my ability to get close, but she, in fact, she kept playing it like that, which was the better play by her, too. So I should have turned faster. Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, this is the build that I'm going mainly now. I think Eclipse Sundered Sky is still the most consistent one, especially into Dras, where you don't need the HP, and here I don't need the HP. More like matchups. And let's say this was like Urgot Vi, I would always go Sojin. I'm gonna TP. Actually, I don't have TP. Okay, let's not do a mistake like that again, though, because I mean, I gave the 1k to Rumble. Actually, that's fine. The guy is completely out of the game, anyways. On the run, good red, I have it on the Rumble that's tilted then on the Sona. This Rumble's just gonna tilt, anyways, and die again. I'm literally walking over a ward. Yep. Did not expect that. I don't know. People that are tilted to just make such stupid emotional decisions, Perma. Kaisa's top. Three people mid. I can play for tier 2 here. Jarvan only one item. Red Ryzen with the primer before the first message. Ain't that based. A little bit of a base first time chatter there, guys. I'm a little scared here. I don't see people on the mid lane. Okay, there's two showing now. And there's number three. I'm a little half HP here. Let's get my third item though. I want the scuttle. I'll just let this turret go, bro. Actually, we don't let this turret go. But they could all cross my pit to top, by the way. I catch up with the movement speed, I think. No. Okay, that bad TP then. I should have TP top. I made such a blunder here, TPing bot. Sorry. Oh, there's still sorry, I forget. Nice. I'll play for this. Made a little bit of a tempo mistake there, should just TP top. Or he'll hold my TP. I can block both the whole TP, see what happens. Instead of being the initiator there. Not too scared. Very carry. I'm just going melee with the ribbon today. Recruit. Am I playing in Master Grandmaster or am I playing in Disgusting Low Elo? Why am I stuck here? Hello? Why would you face check your ribbon like that? What is even going on? Right, not the bad though. I 
like how Oriana says I'm fed, but I'm about to have four items. Liquid. Four items, liquid. I am strong. Hey. Can they even do this? Oh shit. Do I get level 16? Sucks. I have 3 get tokens in the bank, but... They haven't seen me yet. See ya guys. See ya next game. Little bit of a ninja! That was nice though. That felt good. I have 4k tokens in the bank, by the way. What are you doing, Shelly? Are you drunk? Bro, I have 5k tokens in a ranked game. You guys are a little rich. Told you I'm gonna play good macro this game. I'll take over and I won't stop. Did I say that? Did I not? I, I sure did. I sure did. Yeah, sure did. So what do I buy now? Hmm. What if I buy two items at once? I need to do like... Hmm, I need to cook here. If I do this, I can buy Yumus. Wait a second, we're full build done. Look how look at the nice color scheme of my items by the way. What do you guys think of the of the aesthetics of my build? Aesthetic maxing this build. We got a little bit of blue, a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of purple and blue, green something. Aesthetic the most aesthetically pleasing ribbon build right there. Now, Kaisa, do you want to test it out with me? You want to be a test rabbit? I wouldn't want to either. <laughs> build sucks, move on. Okay, MB. MB for greedy pig, MB for greedy pig. Ooh, get him. Yeah, that's you as Faker. The money sucks. Alright, that was a good game, guys. That was a good game. Hey, hey, look at my performance after the most tilting loss just now as well, though. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Good games. Move on. You did okay, well played. Suck my nuts. Let's go. Let's go. That's a quick one. Get me in there. Get me in there. Elo potion is ready. I'm done being a hard stuck. Are you listening to the same song for the third time? I have the Zookiel playlist on and I have it on shuffle. So I would hope that it's not playing the same songs. Okay, we'll switch it to this one. Heartbreak. Hi, you are. This song's good. <laughs> oh, we have Paolo Canona again. Paolo the Goat. Let's go. Poppy, Ben, please. If no, Ben, I don't want to play Poppy 
a Riven Rengar into a Poppy. Yo, Complexed! Yay! Tier 3! Bro, what did I... Why are you so nice to me, bro? You were a 5 earlier still, even a tier 3. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Ada Lois, big love from Paolo Cano on the shed. We love you. Hey. Yo, thank you, guys. Yo, Data. Ansi Luz, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't think I can be called GOAT when I find you in the same lobby. Okay. You're right. King. He's king. Let's go. You can call him Paul One to make him happy. Too much, too much. Ooh, Udra is good to have. Udra is good to have. Udra is good to have. Let's go. Uh, Alright, Elto Army. Sounds good. Yax matchup. Skill matchup. Let's go. Oh, actually, it could be jungle. It's probably jungle. Prop Jax jungle. Yeah. Uh, now it has to be. Yeah. Wait, he goes. Malphite into Corky? Is that a thing? Alois is a very successful. Go for it to the tier 3 as well. GG. Alright. <laughs> There's the tier 3 bros. Oh, wait. It's Silas Jungle. Oh, it's. Oh, there's Jack Stop actually. It's a very, very skill centered matchup. Two setups you can run into Jack. You can go for this. And then this, right? That's your first setup. This is your second setup. This is the big, big papa setup. The greedy setup. The big chief setup. <sighs> Silas into Malphite though. Ay, ay, ay. I think it's Silas uh, jungle jackstop, by the way. But Silas gets... Kalista ult and Malphite ult and Blitzcrank ult. Holy shit, he has three amazing ults. This side pick is mean. Why not scaling health? Because you want to be as strong as possible in the first four waves. If it's Silas top, I'll destroy him though, so no biggie. Add Alois and should I buy a course right now or try to reach my peak and then buy it? Louis Gerlo, here is my thought process on this, okay? The reason you should get coaching in general, or my courses for that sake, it is to increase your improvement curve. If anybody flames, how long it would usually take? Asfi, thank you for the tier one. So, Louis Gerlo, I would always recommend it to get it whenever you're genuinely serious Hello, about guys. climbing Hello. and improving, really because it will greatly game. speed up your progression curve, because you will learn so many concepts and knowledge that you will be able to apply in your games, and uh, the faster you, you start that, the faster you will climb. I repose my question, but do you have any tips for someone who wants to swap with Fiora to Riven? Play Riven. I mean, what, what type of advice do you want? I mean, your champion plays completely different to, to Fiora. Alright, so it is side stop. This is one of the best matchups for Riven because he is never allowed to E into me. And if he W's into me, I'm also destroying him. So, we're good here. This is a good matchup for me. Good matchup for me. Care, they can stack with Rel and Jax. Also, it's easier to learn concept in silver than it is to learn an emerald true. But one thing I do, I will say though, um, when you're learning anything from my course, it is extremely important that you do learn the concepts one by one, not everything all at once, because else you're like it's too much to take in. Okay, let's focus. Corky Silas will swap. Corky can try. I'll win my lane level one if he does that. By the way, I win the lane level one. You'll never be approached. Oh, I mean. Well done, Manzi Lima. Manzi Miliano. Well done, bro. Alright, let's focus, guys. Are we in the vibes? Are we in the zone? Yes, we are. Let's go. Wait. 
where they showed. I'm not sure. Okay, it's our stop. Let's focus. He's playing with the resolve though. Thanks, scenarios for my happiness, so I can give it to you. Ah. When you're the homie from Scenario Stream coming to bless me as well. That is so nice. I love seeing that, man. I love seeing people go cross platform between me and Scenarios. One of the best feelings. He's still getting all the XP here, but he's below half HP. And this wave will actually push into me, I think. Never mind. All three were focused on this caster, that's so lucky. Wait, I didn't poke a potion. Oops. I think if I only lasted latest frames, there's, there's a chance this wave pushed into me. Because you see how it's closer to his side of the lane instead of to mine. So if I lasted latest frames here, this wave is actually going to push into me. And imagine being inside this position right now and this wave pushes away from you. How can I play? Oh. See, it's worse sometimes for me to lose a last hit if I can make this wave push into me. I need some of his castles to stay alive here. Even if it's one, it's enough. It's a game of inches now. Okay, it's pushing him to him though, very clearly. But that's alright. He still can't farm. I'm gonna be level 4. He will hit level 3. Sucks at his TP. I don't think I can dive him. I'll recall. I got flash that's all. Had he used E. I will dive him. He can hit level 4. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Very good. He used E on the turn. He did one more cast to get us level 4, by the way. He need one more cast then. I keep checking that though. I keep checking that though. And my bot lane goes on the weak side too. Let's go. Yes, yeah. Oh, no, 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 Palu! Wait, he's painting! Uh, how long is the plan? Holy moly! It's not what no! to say. It's because he's smart and people take him seriously. Keep on flip flop. 3 one Alright, very, very, very good early. Told you I'll destroy side of stop. Did we learn anything from this early game, guys? I applied a lot of things there. From the fundamentals. I applied the level 1 trick, zoning your opponent from the waves. Trying to get the XP. And then I knew his level up to level 4 exactly. And because I knew his level up to level 4 exactly, I knew I could dive him there without getting punished. Because I knew Silas level 4 timer perfectly. And that's why I knew he wouldn't level up there. Because if he leveled up, he gets, like... 80 extra HP, my dive would not have worked. I'll show you guys in the replay. I'll show you guys in the replay that he was one mean away from level 4, okay? Don't believe me? Wait to find out. Please don't be dying. Piggies. That's oh, worth it though. Alright, King Top, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for your kindness, always. I don't understand this Malphite picking to Corky still. He doesn't he just give Corky free scaling? Top the Keeper TV, TV they were prime. Phantomentos. He's there. Yo. Two options here, dive him or hard push this and recall. If I hard push here and recall, I will also get ahead. You know why? You know why? Because Silas is forced to make a bad decision, okay? Silas is forced to collect this, but he also has to push it this way before it gets to my turret. But if I hard push this wave insta the way I did and instantly recall, 
The thing that's gonna happen is Silas is not gonna have enough time to push this out because you see here, before the wave arrives, I'm already halfway back to lane. And so, if Silas decides to hard push this wave, which he will very likely do, I will be in time back in lane to freeze it. If he resets, he'll lose a lot more than I do. So regardless, I get ahead. Does that make sense? Quite a those yet again. Fornamentals, yet again, guys. That's why we use fundamentals in our gameplay. And that's why we're so consistent. Nice job, team. So you see here, he loses the full wave, and I get the full wave. Where am I from? I am from the Netherlands. Why this matchup is unplayable for him, he can never E into me. The second he did, I will all in. I know my win as well. I have flash advantage now. Which is massive, because next time I fight him, I don't have to use any abilities to get close. Wait, he's actually one-shotting me. Ooh, moly. Oh, nice. Oh. Follow Kanona with the Rondo. When I push this wave, get the plate, get enough gold for Eclipse and the reset. And then I'll flash an ult, and then I'll kill the Silas. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Perfecto. Gold. Reset in the second bush because he might cancel me if I reset in the first. I have flash advantage right here. Good! Silas, from his perspective, is not gonna hard push this wave because he does not know if I have recalled or if I'm hiding in the bush. I could be tempo trapping, right? Tempo trapping meaning that I just stay in this bush and hide. I'm gonna click on one of my minions. You see they're 2% stronger. That's because we have a level lead here and a level lead here. If you collectively as a team have higher levels than your opponents, your means become stronger. So now you see... Because enemy mid got a level up above my mid laner, now it's even again. And Jack's probably leveled up to 6 in the jungle. But you see here, now they're back to 0 again. But because my minions were stronger, that's why the wave is actually pushing to the sides right now. Unlucky, right? So yeah, winning in the game also comes with some downsides. But please kill this cannon before I will... Oh, thank you. So now I'll crash this wave to make a bounce. And then on the bounce, I'm gonna kill Silas. Maybe do the same thing as last game. Just play for CDR boots first and then kill him. Like what I did to the Rumble last game too, right? We just wait for CD bar CD Arbits because then we can Q delay and then it's always easier. But if the Silas ever uses E or something like this, if he walks up right now, I can kill him. Okay, I'm gonna make this wave push into me by doing this to the wave. And now it's gonna push into me. Because they're all targeting this minion. Alright, he's gonna have to recall. If he stays, I dice. And my team is winning the skirmishes too. Well done, team. I don't think there's a plan for him. Nope. I'm gonna hit level 9 here. I He is pretty close to level 8. But I'm gonna have my ignite as well to compensate with this healing. I can double cast here. And no counterplay to that one. So, the combo I did there is you E flash. And then you buffer your auto attack, you wait for the auto attack, and then at the end of your E animation, you can use your double cast. Look at this, I use two abilities. You see there, how I use W and Q at once? You can do that at the end of your E animation. So, that's how I one-shot combo him uh, right there. There's no counterplay to that, you only use that combo for burst or if your opponent is super low HP, such as there. Double solo kill, told you, I'll destroy the Silas. Let's go. Go cancel me, see what happens. And now we're two levels up, we're two, three plates up, we're 30 CS up, game's over. What could Silas do to avoid being in the city situation? Well, he's already made a million mistakes, and this is why I don't teach how to play from behind. Silas, the amount of food Silas is allowed to eat this game, or the amount of resources he gets, is the amount of resources I allow him to eat. I allow this guy's diet right now.
And that's why I don't like to teach how to play from behind, but I teach how to not fall behind. So that makes sense. We gotta be careful. Cork is the only weak addition in this game. He's double my mid lane of CS. We're good in every other regard, but Cork is the only issue. So, with that in mind, let's see if I can maybe make some rooms to mid lane happen too. Well done, bot lane though. Jax is bot, okay? I have nothing to be wary of. Illinois, are you ill? Wait, he had E. Oops. No, I just play for this. If he landed to that, I could have maybe killed him. He already has flesh? It's because he has the room with the cooldown. It's 2 HP, bruh. He has the rune that gives his uh, summoners lower cooldown, else he wouldn't have flesh there. The reason I could dive him is because he had no WE, right? So I could one shot him. Oh. Wait, I'm dead too, by the way. Oh, they're not going for me. Oh, that's the good. Hollow with the golden combo. Hold on. This game's not over yet, though. They will scale, and our team doesn't scale too well. Achilles is really strong. Fives on flush again. We have clans here. I don't think he can live. Zeri gets a massive shutdown. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, this game is a challenge now. We have two win conditions Zeri and Corky. He bought Tabis, okay. Doesn't really change anything, realistically. Eclipse first, then E. With level 11 here. I can get the turret now. He's dead too. I did the same mistake as yesterday. I turned target champions only on and that's why I hit the Silas there. Yesterday I died to Camille doing that. I gotta unlearn that. Very bad habit. I turned champions, target champions only on. I should just kill the turret and then... There's not even anything else to it. My bad. He should've been dead. This song is cringe. The only bad song in this playlist. And so we have to skip it. Okay, we're still ahead. Like almost two items now. We're just gradually expanding the lead. I'm not flush here. This is recalling. Malphit recalling. This guy's no flesh, but he has Malphit ult. I'm strong. Oh, but ult is about to run out.
Goodbye, piggies. Arf! Got my perfect power spike before this fight. I knew I was throwing off. I have perma sun that's count. Any new target? Uh, yeah, I'm two items. Everybody's one item. That's what happens when you're ahead of the curve as Riven. You won't be nine. You won't be nine. Very simple. We're back to good gameplay, guys. We're back to good gameplay here. No penta, no gift. Unlucky. I got a cargo. My gift will be LP. I get a gracious gift. LP. I gotta do a little skedaddle here. Goodbye, guys. Hey, you may have package, but I got chili, babe. Yeah, is there? <laughs> That's always the best. That will always be the best, bro. They thought they had me. No, 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 sir. No, 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 sir. Wait, I'm actually gonna wait here. They will never expect that. No. Wow, we had everything, bro. That's a 1k to core key. Okay, I have to put 8k gold. I shouldn't make that play. I also didn't expect it at all. Oh, that's really bad, by the way. I give them a weak condition with that. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Shit. Not sure what to build here. I think this is best. Yeah, silver ribbon player, I see. Oh, wait, you're, you're responding to him. Okay, okay, never mind. You're responding to L2 Army. I see what you mean. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Die to an NPC? Not wrong. Hi. Who's Jimmy Butler? Yo, Petu! Thank you, bro. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Yeah, Shen is still getting milk. AKA, okay, I'm not good enough on Shen. Ay, ay, ay. They're all looking to make a play onto me on bot lane. Jimmy Butler, that's an MPA. Oh, then I know who it is. Oh, it's my boy Luca, actually. Okay. They're making a play onto bot right now. But I won't fall for it. Two items, two items. They're very strong here. My team is gonna play Nash, and so I want to distract them. Maybe cancel the recalls so my team can play Nash. Where's Corky? No flash. Let's go, baby. Oh, Kalista dying is bad news. We're good though. Working no flash, Jax had no flash. Fix the top lane side wave. I don't think we can play for the dragon, anyways. I'm gonna fix this wave, reset, and then probably play top again. Wait, Jax is not going for it. Oh shit. Why is he here? I wanna go brutalize or something. Okay, 
Okay, they're making a plane to the top. I can 2v1 them though, pretty comfortably. Where's the rail though? They could be making a play on me. Okay, no flash. Oh, they're looking for me. Where's Rel? Rel's my. Ah. I actually don't one shot him. That's crazy. I ruin our Nesha really hard here dying. If I'm still alive, I can pressure. We can pressure three lanes at once. Me dying is really bad. Zeri did ult. Yeah, Rel just AFK. Solid. And I think this guy flushed and this guy flushed. No, it's very, it's very, it, it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense for them to be top right now. Because they cannot contest this dragon and they can't really fight my team 4v4, right? So they need to look for an isolated target to catch him off the sideline. So they looked for me. I knew that. I knew they, that was their intention, but I still died. Uh, I have tried Scorch on Riven. I'm not a fan of it. I think Nimbus or the amount of kills and or escapes I get because of Nimbus on a game basis is, is very high and so I would always prefer going um, Nimbus over Scorch. Take a look at this. He has almost two items. I'm about to get four. That's still because of the early game, right? That's why I always say your first voice matter the most. I'm gonna replay this landing phase to you guys and show all of the early game details that I did that made me win the lane. Actually, uh, me taking drone camps is completely grief. My team is trying to siege. I probably should walk mid here instead of bot, even though I want to catch bot. It's because my team is gonna siege this, and they could get engaged on mid. I, I wasted tempo taking this. They see me as well on the map. Gork is 3. Jackson flash. I'm gonna have to let bot lane go. What? Did we just take a plant over? <laughs> I just took the plant over. Why is that? Wait. Zeri has four items now. That's not good. Oh, he lost his Magi. Yeah, I'd be tilted too. High key, this might make us lose though, because we lose a complete tempo over the game and we do get outskilled this game. Udyr loses his Magi, so he loses like his complete control over the game. Not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. I'm on the ward. We can slow Trace here. Often flash ulting for that is really not worth it. I'm level 16 before this fight, I will flash. I'm gonna get that a little bit later. Okay, so we have four items here. She has four items, three items. Any sums? Any level 16, that's all I need. I can get one shot, but I also watch it anybody. I get on my hands on.
No, not now. No. Not now! Not now! Okay, I mean, we lucked out. My team smurfed this without me having to do anything, but... What, are, what is this again? That timing, bro. That timing. Okay. Holy moly. My dad started doing uploads again at that timing. Okay. I hope uh, there's no more uh, downloads and stuff happening, because if so, uh, I gotta be careful. Okay, it's all good. Yo, pussy, good to see you, bro. Okay, we're one win away from Grandmaster again. Sorry, quick, let me check a message. Good game. It's got 7k damage, 8k gold. Destroyed. We'll uh, refill the early game here. As I said, I would. I'll showcase what was so important in this early game, okay? All right, guys. First things first, level one. We, of course, get the sword, so we know how the jungles are pathing in the early game. And we do know that Jax is going to be pathing into top. My jungler assumed that he might be starting here because we saw them here. And what I do in the first wave is try to see if I can get an aggressive trade into Silas because my champion stat check Silas at the level one. I'm way stronger level one. And so what I do here is I wait for these six means in the early, uh, like, these means to get low HP and then walk out and force Silas to make a decision. He either goes for the minions, but then he would get destroyed by me. So now Silas is to make a decision. I will be standing here, so I'm still in the XP range, but he's going to be out of this XP range, right? If I stand here. Now, the thing with the early game is that EXP snowballs infinitely harder than gold. And that is because if you even lose one to three minions worth of EXP, you will completely be delayed in every level of timer, which is, which is going to give you a massive edge. So here, I believe Silas gets all three of the XP. No, he actually lost two. You see here, he lost two. I didn't know that. Oh, he lost all three. So you see, I get all three of the XP, and he got none of that. Now, what that is going to do is perpetually keep Silas lower than me with level up timers. Another detail that happened here is you see how these means step forward and his step backwards. Now, I'm very unlucky with the RNG that these three are all hitting this. Because if this mean would stay alive, there's a very good chance that this wave would even start pushing into me. But simply because this caster died, I have one extra mean now. So this wave will slowly push to the Silas. Now look, he lost all... Oh, actually, no, he lost one. Okay, yeah, he lost one. Never mind, he lost one. I thought he lost all three. Okay, he lost one. What would you do in Silas' shoes? Well, you could approach the wave from here. You could go, like... Yeah, you, he basically did the best thing he could do. But that is why Silas is very weak, level 1, into, into Riven. This is why it's a full counter matchup. I'm allowed to do this because of the counter matchup. Now, him losing this 1 EXP, level 1, I thought he I thought he lost uh, 1 or 2. I wasn't entirely sure, but now look at this. So, whilst the sliding phase is going to go continue, I'm going to hit my level 3 faster than him. Of course, because I have priority and because I have more XP from level 1, right? So, this is going to give me my level 3. 
Standard level 3 timer. First two waves plus two melees. You get your level 3. There we go. And now I get a trade with him. And this trade is super worth it for me. And I instantly said here. I instantly said. I will be level 4. And Silas will only be level 3. That is because... If you lose even one melee minion from the first wave, you can never, I repeat, never get level 4 from the first four waves. Your normal level 4 timer would be to get all these minions, and if two castles remain, that's where you get your level 4. So normally here, two castles remaining, watch this. Now I hit my level 4, okay, that was a melee, but usually, you see here, I'm up just above. Normally two castles left would be my level 4 timer. So now... I could dive to Silas, but he has E and W, so it's risky, right? And if Silas kills everything here, he still wouldn't get level 4, but I assumed he actually did not lose any XP. So then, Silas would need to kill this, this, this minion to hit his level 4, right? Look at this. I am diving. Actually, he could have gotten it here. Okay, he could have gotten 4. So here I should have noticed that he's actually not in range for the XP, and we dive him. I thought there was one more minion over. But you see here, the reason why Silas dies is literally because he lost that one bit of XP at level 1. That is why he's not level 4, and that is why I can dive him. Plus, because he used his ability on the turret here, which is a mistake. He should never use his abilities here on the turret. He should just let himself get, like, he should just play this slower. Because he has no flash from earlier. So now I can just flash and kill him like that, and live, and game over. XP, level 1 trait, GG. Alright, no more uploads, so let's go. <clears throat> that is why knowing your EXP timers in the early game is so important, guys. If you just know that, you'll already be so much more, like, ahead of your opponent. For two reasons. You're gonna be able to avoid your opponent's level up timer, right? In the sense that if they level up faster, you're gonna know that, because you're counting their EXP, because this, the, the timer is the same for every game. And if, um, what's it called? I'm also going to be able to manage my cooldowns around the level up timer. Yo, how about applying this to mid lane? It's the exact same in mid lane. How about I haven't, I haven't done the extension yet though. I came back from the gym. I was setting up to do it. Uh, or I was planning to do it. I forgot it and I started my stream. But now that I see your name, I, it popped into my head again. I'm sorry. I went to the gym after I sent my message and then I just started to stream. I'm going to make sure that the next stream, I'm going to have the extension. Get a QS, QoS router. No, I'm going to move into my own place relatively soon where I'm going to have fiber optic and then I will not have internet issues anymore at, or at least not like this. That is my plan. Moving into my own place. I want to move out. It's uh, it's time. 23 years old. Um, yeah, it's time. Hello, it's very expensive in uh, the Netherlands currently to live by yourself. Um, I, I want, uh, I want, I want it. I really want it. What do you do if you are weaker level 1? You want to play trade avoidant. You want to try and get the XP without losing all of your health. And that is why understanding that when you're stronger in your matchup, then you're able to do it. By the way, it's still so sad that we lost this game. This game should have always been a win. If we had won this, we'd be Grandmaster right now, but let's not talk like this. We're playing absolutely amazing today. Thus far, all three games, but we had some good matchups too. Like, Aatrox is a really good matchup. Rumble is a horrific matchup, but he inted, so we're double his gold. And uh, this game is smurfed too. I'm always a big boy, he's all grown up. <laughs> yeah, slowly, slowly. Yo, Clara, welcome. Most places are so expensive to live now. I don't know what rent places are in the other spot. But here, over where I live, I live very near Amsterdam. I don't know, bro. It feels like an like a bubble almost. The prices here in the like in the Netherlands are crazy. Is it true that the average salary in the Netherlands is fifty k euro? I think it's below that. Wait, let me check. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's close to that. It's forty four thousand is the average brutto per year for the Dutch person. That's brutal. Alright, I'm gonna echo jungle. Not the strongest early game jungler. Renting or buying? Renting, bro. <laughs> of course, renting. Especially because I want to travel so much, and plus, buying here is, is, is simply impossible. Simply impossible. 
Do you get? Do you ever get people in coaching that are too passive in landing phase? Absolutely, a lot of them. Very often, it's either somebody that plays way too passive or somebody that plays way too aggressive. <clears throat> what happened? You invested in the Herman Miller already? No, not yet. What I want to do is I once I live on my own place, then I want to uh, get a new chair, get a new desk, get that kind of stuff. So I want to wait it out for now. By the way, guys, I've never really shown this, but you see how my bed is here? This is my bed, right? And I'm sitting on my chair, and this is the desk. Imagine this desk right now is against this wall, and this bed is against the other wall. That's the width of my... That's like the width of my room. Then, my bed from this wall... To that wall is the other part of my room. There you can kind of see how small my room is. We're playing against Gangplank. This could be Solar Baka again. This could be Solar Baka again. They have a bell, but we have an echo, so they win the 2v2. Uh, no. the headset that I have, I believe, or oh, it's... Yeah, I can fit two beds basically. Basically, yeah, basically two beds. That would be the, that would be it. Um, I would want to stay in the same town. Yo, Beno. I don't know. I'd highly recommend this headset. Yes, I just don't know which one it is right now. I used to have it below my stream in a panel. What is my headset called again? It's like a new Logitech headset. It's amazing because you barely have to charge this. I have to charge it like once every two weeks. And for a wireless headset that fits amazing, it's so good. Okay, all right guys, rematch against Gangplank, or a rematch against Solar Baka. He's playing Flash Ignite, let's go. Yeah, Harlem is really, really expensive. Okay, my favorite, favorite Gangplank, homie. Let's go, man. Fundamentals, of course. No mercy this time. I respect it. Good luck with the dot. Time to lock in. I'm not gonna do it. Don't hit me. <laughs> Try some reverse psychology shit. Don't work on my buddy. Not allowed to hit them for 20 seconds, huh? Massive level 1 has owned them from the XP. I explained last game why that is so important. If this wave pushed into me, it's game over for him, by the way. I need to die. I'm 
I'm at level 4 here. He's still level 2. I'm level 4, he's still level 2. He cannot get level 3. I'm sorry, but the game is so over. The game is so over, guys. That's why zoning people from level 1 EXP is everything. Fundamentals. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, first for waves against Solar Baka. <laughs> and the wave is pushing back into me as well. Like, this guy's game is so over, by the way. Okay, I misplayed that. Could have gotten like two more autos in there. Or maybe should have focused this barrel. I like how he just egos me. Never count Solar Baka out though. Hey guys, I explained to you everything that I just did here in the last game. In the last landing phase, I explained to you every concept I just did here. Zoning my opponent from the first three means worth of EXP. Getting my level ups above him. Getting to level 4 and diving him. I did the exact same thing against the Silas last game. Are you guys seeing the habit of fundamentals, guys? There you go. Brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Okay, Belvin is there to protect him. Okay, I'll let you. <clears throat> There's our account too. Wait, what? Oh. Easy solo bolo. He died to the gardens or something. How did I just get a kill? Um, I mean, uh, fundamentals. He wants to hard push this wave so he can set up his own reset. That's why he's pushing this. Um, fundamentals on that guy. Velvet was there twice to protect uh, the top line at all. Beating a Belvin is kind of crazy sight. You guys know who a good coach Who's is? Acting with T1. I'm Luis. Sure, brother. That guy is good.
Discord with Baka, please? I mean, I don't think he wants to Discord right now, bro. It's like disrespectful. Imagine saying right now, going right now, I say in all chat, yo, Baka, you want Discord? Yo, Felix, thank you very much, bro. Does he know I have recalled? Who's that piggy? He's gonna it's make this way push into it. Yeah, he's smart. You should have drawn this wife to push it into him. Or he thought he was hiding in the bush or something. No, I'm not gonna ask him to go Discord, bro. It's so disrespectful. That was either at the start or never. What are we doing? Nice. <laughs> he doesn't have old right now to push out next wave. Barrel's about to disappear. Just wait. Bro? If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Low death winning games? Yeah. My low is the you one. My Katarina is a big pig. Big int. Oh shit. I made that so bad. Why doesn't he just wait like one second? Oh shit. This game's gonna be a hard one. What is the Katarina doing? Legit, he's like he's a million percent dead there. I'm Q laying onto him with my ult here. I could have just probably perma froze this, but I'm doing this to check this.
does that happen? Probably a shit of gold. Yep. Average. Very good, man. I need level 11 here. I'm scared of velvet, maybe. No counter play. We win this game with Grandmaster, we're actually playing our promotion game here. Yeah, uh, Solar Bucket lost his lane level 1 by the way. When I zoned it from the first 3 mains or the big XP. I explained to you guys last game how that works. I'm so close to my item, I would prefer to stay for one more wave actually. We get this turret, I get 50 gold. Rakan is here, but Belvedere is there. Okay. Yeah, the songs are kind of replaying, I feel like, actually. Yeah, so good here. Wait, I didn't get the f fast recall. He's freezing. <laughs> it's fine, we'll take over the game. Did I also not get the rep buff? What? Can't freeze permanently. We'll take a run up. What is that guy doing then? Yeah, let's engage, guys. Let's engage. Let's engage. I don't know, bro. What are the idiots? Sorry, but what? Now let's not overstay. Plays over. We got two turrets and two kills. I'm pretty happy with that. That was a good way to expand the lead. Gameplay was freezing top, so we had to play the map fast. Mm. Oh, I precious way for reset. Oyana will probably be here. Yep. Did you see me? These two items. Give you flash. He crit there at the end. He crit there at the end with 20%. Nice one. He yeah, actually crit him there. Yes, it is correct for him to freeze there.
damn this game. I I am not this game actually today. I'm on fire today. I've been smurfing every game today. So deep late. You have to stream for at least 3 more hours Piggy wanna see that GM when I come back from spraying. Yes sir. You won't be- you won't see the G grandma- It only updates tonight though, so keep that in mind. It won't update until tonight. Even a hundred Felix brother. Clean this game, bro. The turret dies, I believe. Yep. I have open access now. And four items. Alright! Level 16, flash, one shot, any piggy. I did the wrong one. Open next is surely can't lose now. Don't say that. 
Oh, come on. GG. <laughs> GG. Alright. One day we'll play against Solar Baka. With real setup. GG's to Solar Baka. My favorite homie. I hope he didn't get tilted because I said fundamentals. I hope I didn't tilt him with that one. Because I didn't mean it in a derogatory manner. I didn't mean it like that. I hope I didn't tilt him by saying like fundamentals after the level 2 or level 4 dive. I'll, I'll replay it to you guys, like similar to what I did last game, to why it was insta GG, okay? I'm gonna walk you guys through the same concepts, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, I sound like Trump. Anyways, I showed you guys these exact habits last time. Yeah, we should be in Grandmaster now. Yo, Maxobo, the update of the courses are scheduled for the end of this month. I want to also release the next course, but I might not be able to at the same time because it's simply too much work. But I, it's either at the end of this month or, or but like, I'm not extending it past, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing my absolute best to get it in as quick as possible. But okay. I'm going to show you guys why this lane was won super early on, okay? And this is a combination of two habits. That I explain in depth in the course as well. So pay attention, okay? You're gonna learn some new things here. Level of timers and level one aggression. Guys, this is the back concepts of it, okay? Your first four waves matter the most. Think back to some of your recent games. Every game, almost every game, for the solo laner is decided in the first four waves. Now, one piece of information that you need to know as well is that EXP snowballs way harder than gold in the early game. Okay, so here, take a look at this, okay? I am playing with three potions, and I see that he has one potion. And so here, I'm going to trade into his passive and into his bone plating. And even though he hits me with his passive here, this is an equal health trade. Who benefits? Me. He does get a second barrel here, but even if he landed it, you see how I was walking right? And I instantly walked left, and that's why he placed it right. I did a movement command and an insta to the left. Okay, I'll lower the music, sure. Give me a second. Right, so this sidestep was crucial, but I would have still been in a very good spot. Okay? And so now it was an equal health trait. He has no barrels left. And I have two potions and he has none. Why is this one? And so now what I'm going to do is zone my opponent from the first three means worth of EXP. And again, EXP snowballs much harder than gold in the early game. So, sorry. Sorry, sorry. And so as a result, you see me zoning him, and I'm standing here. I'm in range of this EXP, he is out of range. I'm gonna get the EXP, and he is not. And this instantly dooms the laning phase for him, because he's going to be delayed to his level 2 timer with 3 melee means. That means, instead of getting his level 2 at the start of wave 2, he's gonna get it at the end of wave 2. And that completely changes it, because by the time he gets his level 2, I'm already gonna be level 3. How can play, right? And so here... He lost all three means worth of XP. I got it. Even though Belved is doing this, it actually doesn't matter. And so now, my job is to try and even make this wave maybe push into me. I don't do that successfully, but I do get some additional trades onto him. And any trade that I do onto him right now without a wing, the wave is absolutely massive. Okay, I'm gonna skip through it a little faster here. Uh, I'm just gonna hold it onto me. And you see here, he just hit level 2, right? Just hit it. But you see, I'm already level 3. And that is because... Of zoning him from the first three means worth of XP. And so now after this trade, his lane is over. Another equal health trade. And now, because I have priority, and because he lost his first three means, right? He is still level two here. That was my intention behind the trade as well. First of all, I'm a level higher, right? So that's that, that's always gonna be good. But he does get passive here, barrel, ignite, and another passive, but it doesn't matter, because it's again an equal health trade. And so now, as I said, and it is similar to the Silas last game, I'm gonna be level 4, and he cannot get his level 3 in time. Last game, the Silas was actually level 3, but one crucial thing to notice here as well, he moves here, he loses that EXP, and he loses uh, that EXP right here. And you see here, he can never get these means. He can't get these means. And so now, look, I knew he was never gonna get level 3 here, these means won't die, as long as we start to dive before. And so we dive, I dodge the barrel, one-shot him, Kill the bell with two. For some reason, I get executed as well. Cherry on top. GG. And so now, his lane is absolutely over. Because these means are going to stay intact. 
My next main wave is Rock Deuce Turret. He's losing three full waves here. Plus, I lose nothing. Game is over. Game is absolutely over. GG. And that was from one mistake at level one. And the game snowballs. That's how top line works, guys. That is how it works. I think we are in Grandmaster MMR now. 642. There is a site where we can check if we go over to Deep Low. And we check over here. It is 642. So technically, we are in the cutoff. But let's play at least one more. Because we are absolutely on fire today. This game, we were supposed to win enemy team at Open Nexus, and we ended up losing it because my team was running it super hard here with 217 bot lane. Oh, unfortunate, but look at these games. One or two deaths. Almost 10 kills every game. It's not it. Do you think Solar Baka is bad? No. He is by far one... I think Solar Baka is the best one trick that exists. Almost. Like, name me one Gangplank player that is almost equal to the mechanical depth that Solar Baka has on Gangplank. Like, if I play Riven, there's so many people I can compare myself with. You have Viper, General Sniper, uh, Revenge, probably some more. Uh, and then you have, in EU, we have Built, and you have Azi, and then you even have, in China, you have, like, ZZK, Wen Shen. I feel like we're all somewhat equal in terms of mechanics, but when you compare Solar Baka to any other gangplank, man, he's just simply the best. What if Echo didn't gank? Well, let's say, what if Echo didn't gank, and what if Belvet didn't gank? I would have 1v1'd him. What if Belvet gank, what if Echo didn't gank? Well, yeah, then I probably would have traded 1 for 1. Where was his mistake? Missing the barrel, and then uh, losing the XP as a result. He plays to the edge. He played also aggressive before the minion wave arrived. Real Levantin, I've actually hit the gym four times already this week. Thank you for that. Thank you for uh, your comment, though. Yes, I've went four times already. I went today as well. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, it was a mix of fundamentals and uh, mechanics there, right? Against Solar Baka. But you gotta remember, he is a... Right. <laughs> Big booty hippo. Enjoy your chicken nuggets, bro. Enjoy them chicken nuggets. What happened if GP started queue? I get priority for free. Yo, Rim. We got round Udi, that's pretty good here. Time for Camille into Jax. Let me just pick Camille into Jax here. Yes, Rennington loses against Riven level 1. That's also the only part where he loses the matchup. Riven only wins level 1. And level 2. Level 3 ranked and hard wins. That's a good song. That's a good song. Sounds alright. Is it Jack top? Is it Rex at top? We're gonna figure it out. This is a game where we're gonna need HP. Assassin-ish, Assassin, Assassin, we're gonna need HP this game. Blammer is really good here.
I kind of quiet at the moment. What? Is my, is my microphone quiet? Is my microphone quiet or what? Okay, how about this? This should be better, right? Is uh oh ah yeah it should be better. I'll turn it down a little bit. I think this is perfect. Okay, like this. Ooh, we play against a challenger top laner here. I'm back in challenger anymore. We got four massive players. Let's go. He's playing Conqueror Resolve Flash TP. Just had this driving in my game. Good luck to you, sir. Who is it? I'm gonna check low pros. Let's see. This Jax is 60%. We're a challenger. Pretty good. This check just gave me more priority. No bone play thing. It's rare that you find a Jex that just gives you priority. I'm scared to get early gang by Rex head on. Get 11 out of 12, not bad. He's gonna level 2 from that. Not worth it. Hey, bot line. Actual win is Q. So nice that the W isn't cancelable anymore. In the past there, his W wouldn't hit me. Good job, right games. Making it uncancelable. Unstoppable rather. Early, he just like, la like allowed me to do what I want to do. I'm gonna go deep late here. <laughs> this guy's a BF sword, ain't that crazy? I think this play is not a good play. Dave wants to find the way. Never mind, we also had flash. Oh, Rexa is here. He has a red buff, no blue buff. That means he started blue path into bolt. I could have proxied by five. I could have proxied this way, but I didn't know. But I know right now that Rexa is gonna go back into the slope side first. Rexa is probably recalling going into top side, or he instantly comes top side, but that would be a bit weird. I hate that his W is uncancelable now. 
I have to W that else I lose it. Alright, this Jax knows how to play the matchup. In the past, his W wasn't unstoppable, so if I Q3'd or use W on his W, I would cancel it, but right now it still goes through. So annoying. I mean, they didn't kill the Twitch. They got a Slash, I guess. Maybe this was stupid. I lose so much HP for nothing. I mean, I managed to heap the wave here, which is gonna TP. The wave is gonna be gankable here. He uses one melee too. He's still one melee ahead of me in terms of XP. But he doesn't get six from this wave. No Sheen. Okay. He gets one melee from next wave, gets him level six. Two melees. Jax gets it. Hey, where's my music at, bro? Where's my music at? No? Jax gets a free kill, that blows. I would have been really far ahead if it wasn't for that kill. Look at this CS right. Oh, really they gonna swap? What are you doing? Rex is still here. She's baiting. She's wasting her excess time. That space is really awkward. He is still top side, ain't that crazy. I'm gonna hit level 8 here, so I'm fine. She dies. It wasn't execute? Please tell me my W hit. Okay. I was about to say. I knew I pressed W. Oh. Oh, I have to play 2v1 and Jackson gets 2 kill for free. Mamma mia. I survived 2v1 for like 3 minutes there. And Jax just gets two kills for free. That is frustrating. F. Yeah, I gotta beat this guy's face. Kinda lighting 2v1 here this game. First of all, Jax gets an amazing wave swap. Like when I'm at like peak position. 
Okay, I guess she's just gonna lay into me now. I might don't mind that too much, but I guess it's because uh, of this. Bolton is still winning, so that's good. And I traded the dive, still one for two. And I didn't really lose a wave, so it's alright. The direction is still top side. I have to pay my respect to Rek'Sai. Oh, there's a side again. I just hope they don't 3-man dive me. I'll be really tilted. Really level 9 soon though as well. Please don't 3-man. Oh no. Okay, Jackson Smith, we're chilling. Minus 1. If I won that, the game was over. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened to my Q as per usual. Oh well. One HP pigs, both of them. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh, good though. My bot is two items. I hope they're just gonna play discipline enough so that, like, the Draven will just carry. You know, like, he's so fat. So they still have to play really well. They have a lot of things that can kill Draven. Yeah, I'm pretty far behind now. I'm still very farmed, but for the okay, Rex is finally bought. Okay, I'm not. I, I probably don't even win one v one anymore. I don't know. I'm still like even though playing two v one my whole landing phase, so that's pretty good. Do we want again? Lucky. I'm embarrassing these guys so hard, by the way. I'm embarrassing these guys so hard. Two people in the whole game, still playing them. Come again. Crazy. That sucks. That really sucks. Now I have to move both. 
Hmm, Draven no flesh or Rex had no flesh hold. I wonder how he died. And I guess I should just walk top, but now we lose that too. Oh well. Draven is still serving in the mid. Imagine how nice it is for my bot lane though. Udir is probably playing into bot. He gave he gave Jax two kills and I'm still like even. Although Rex has played around me the whole game. Yeah, I should have moved bot. That was a mistake. He went Mercs. Makes sense, I guess. Bard Rex, I could be here. I'm not even, I'm gonna phrase it differently. Every time Rexa is not there, I'm just gonna Rexa is coming. Let's do it like that, yeah? I think that will make it more clear. Is that ju that's just the case. Case studies have shown that this Rexa does not like me. I probably am fly like flying this mom once or something. I've done a horrible crime to that Rexa for him to have this amount of hatred for me. That's for certain. Oh, come on. Okay, Rexa is coming. We got Jack's Tepito, so that's good. Yeah, ignited for Nimbus there, guys. One benefit I have as well, or we have, because Rex had played to the top permanently, is we have two dragons. They got the grass, we have two dragons. We're gonna have third dragon here. Enemy team kinda has to fight for it. Our oh, dragon is so far ahead. It's also because they want 2v2 though. Oh good. They're 5 and mid probably on this wave. If we survive here, we're completely chilling. Jax got 1k, but I can get the tier 2 then's worth. Please pressure this. Oh, never mind. Akali went top. Nice. Please don't have TP. Alright, Jax got 1k, but I get 700 from this, so it's worth it. Alright, nice. Let's go. Okay, and uh, they're building this. Tabby's here, this, this. I'm gonna build Cleaver next. Did you guys see that the Rex just ulted me again that fight, by the way? Like, that guy. That guy loves me in game. Or hates me. Or both. Am I in time for this blue buff? It disappears at minute 4. I think I'm in time. Draven has neither sum, that's pretty massive though, for any team. I mean, we're in on par with the gold of Jax this game. Wait. 
I'm gonna be there on this mid wave that's spawning. Again, I'm 2v1 this whole game. I've been weak sided this whole game, yet I'm ahead in CS. I'm still relevant. We are back, guys. We are back. I'm super happy with my performance today. And Jax is a 60% winner challenger player, by the way. 2v1 this whole game, man. Either XI Bart, I don't care who it is. We did it. And my team is playing well. Very happy with my performance, man. Still masters after this game we are officially grandmaster how are you playing Renekton? you ban him in champ select i don't play into him dude legit in my rift matchup course i'll i'll have the i'll i'll have the Renekton matchup and i'll legit just go into champ select and ban it that's the Renekton matchup for the rift matchup course no in all seriousness i will explain how to play it but it is by far one of the most unplayable matchups no I took Draven's wave, so he wants to take the shit from me, that makes sense. Exhaust is cringe. Aww. He waited so patient with his E. Well played. My bad. I got outplayed so hard there. I don't think we should be playing for this in general, I guess. We're like 5v2 there. That's like the only way we lose. Oh shit. I got insta exhausted. Actually, never mind. Jax is 3 items now as well. What's my Vladimir doing? I mean, this game is like short now. I don't know, I also blame myself there. I jumped in when I didn't have to. I lived. And then because I jumped in, my teammates also died and we lose soul. I may have done so many good things, but that was such a big blunder that might be game losing. It's okay, now we just need to scale. For a bit. I'm not gonna ask if they are probably coming again. They've hated me the whole game.
I have to play so defensive the whole game, even though I'm stronger. Are we dying? Should have kept pushing both, I guess. I'll play to my team. Nice one, buddy. Please go mid. There's no point for you to be bot. Why are we here? Yes, no, we're good. Love letter. Out of weeds. That guy is good. This bar needs to get something. I want that guy to die. Genzo, do you tier one, bro? This guy's for the he's not dying. Alright guys, we are officially Grandmaster, finally, finally, took a while, so now the question is do we, nah I'm just gonna keep playing by the way, I'm gonna keep playing, I'm gonna keep playing, How do you deal with the frustration of playing perfect and losing four games in a row? I know what you mean. I've had it myself a lot. What can you do? Keep playing the way you are and eventually you will get rewarded. I finally have that. This game, look, this first game I lost. Today. This is the first game we played. Enemy team with open nexus. But my bot lane and mid lane refused to win this game. They refused to win this game. And then we lost. But I was like, you know what? I'm playing amazing. Let's keep it up. One, two, three, four wins. All four games. Full clean. Full good gameplay. You will get rewarded eventually. Whereas Grandmaster, the way it works is at the end of 24 hours, massive players will get promoted to Grandmaster. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a system that works in every 24 hours. The top 300 player every two, uh, 24 hours will be challenger. Look, you see this countdown here? For people that don't know how the ranks work. Well, I can't show it now. 
basically every 24 hours ladders the ladder will update the people that are the top 300 lp so the 300 highest ranked players will go into challenger and the players that are below the highest grandmasters players will drop down to grandmaster that's how it works and it, and it cycles every 24 hours so right now i'm in the threshold i'm high enough lp to be get promoted into grandmaster but i need to wait need ap oh, lovely Charlie is 10 times better than Viego. So that's how it works. Profane is not a for fun item. It's actually really good. I'm playing it a lot more now to carry my games. It kind of feels like old Hydra Cleaver Eclipse Spike. If you get these three items, you kind of feel like very spiked. But you gotta be careful, you can't buy it every game. You get zero HP only in Sun Sky. So very often you need to switch in this item or this item. But this build feels very refined right now. I'm building a lot less death since I'm all unless I have to. Alright, Darky sounds good, boss. Yo, bros, good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing amazing, bros. Came from first CrossFit class, almost choked. I guess I can't expect to be fit and climb as a riverman, right? I know what you mean. Yep. What do you think is the best top player to 1v9 in every low elo game? Garen Mundo. Garen Mundo. Udir top. Ah. I'll go aggressive setup. Try to solo kill level 1, level 2. I'm gonna go for a flippy setup here. This setup doesn't always work against Udir. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm perma Thank you, you for the Hey, boss. It. Yo. Can I take Grasm to every matchup total in SKMU? Yes, you can. But in some matchups, I think Conqueror is better. For example, Yon. I think into Yon, it's better to run Conqueror. Because you're never really looking for small trades. I mean, hmm. Yes, you can go Grasp into every matchup, actually. Also, you can go Grasp Inspiration. It's like the most broken too because you can go biscuits and time warp tonic paired with the grasp with shield bash second wind and you're like super stable letting face all right let's focus my mid laner should be good because it's lec mid laner your nest nice life is going good hope you're doing amazing do you ever do cleaver rush Red rarely bro toma i almost pressed d there i would have if, bro, I almost pressed D there too much. I would have legit banned you, by the way. I would have legit banned you. Well, Blitzcrank is AFK, so that's an issue. I've actually banned you. That was almost a ban. Why do I go deep blade over longsword or longsword over deep blade rather? It's because I'm gonna look for health traits here. All right, sit straight. Smack this guy in the face. He 
restart, huh? Interesting. Never seen that. So many last hits. Three, no two. Four. You're kidding me. No, you're not. Could have spaced that better. I knew I'd win because I proc'd Conqueror before the skirmish. So you see, I started the fight with still 4 seconds of Q cooldown. But I knew I'd win the skirmish because I had full Conqueror stacks by the time I had my Q back. But, yeah, well, I live with HP. Unfortunate. Well, looks like we are winning you on Botland again, though. But that blows. That was a kill if I space a little better. I think I had him. It was good utilization of Conqueror. Wow, where did that Q go? I don't know why they made Q's target around me is so hard, like, please do something about it, man. Talia's fighting into bot again. Turning the subside, Talia's going both sides, so I have to be a little wary here. Cancel my auto. I think I'm slightly at an XP. I just gonna hit six here faster. The fault to be full HP. He doesn't crash this before this wave comes, like at one window here. He lost the cannon. So will I. No, we're chilling. I let my Q run out. Again, same thing as last time. I stack my Conqueror completely before the skirmish, and so by the time I have my Q, my Conqueror is fully stacked, and so I actually win. I outside check him, even though he's double shoot. Riven is a tiny bit broke with a fully stacked Conk. Beautiful. I think he had a, high, a higher chance winning there without using his ease. Like, you should have used old. <sighs> nice. 
He's rushing this. Can rush cleaver actually. I wanna try it. See how it feels. I mean, he's gonna rush like some fire, right? So I'll rush this. See how it feels. I love it. I'm just pretty cheap. The component is way worse. I only have 30 AD. Pickaxe double longsword would be 45 AD. I could have 15 AD more right now with my eyes, right? I could get pickaxe double longsword there. So I'd have 15 extra AD. But now I have HP and 10 haste. I mean, 15 AD is still better. But Cleaver is really strong on completion. That's the thing. When you build Cleaver, the build path is horrible, but it's really strong on completion. I don't want to fight here. I don't have ult. This fight is just absolute grief. I'm dipping. You guys can do whatever you want. What do you want me to do? What is he doing? And then, and then somehow like talking as if that is good? Kinda crazy. Like then, like inting is alright, but then justifying it and blame it on me like... Go away bro. What do you mean we ha they have zero ults? We have no Cassante Revan ult either, how do we win there? I like to have a Blitzkrieg says, K, I lost the game, XD, also good. I recall. <sighs> Alright, Artelia is still strong, so that's good. Artelia is playing really good. She's solo AP in this rough right, so we need Talia to be strong in this game. I'm not gonna buy potions because I wanna get to Cleaver ASAP. I don't really mind Swain, by the way. Champion Soul uses against Riven, especially. But I don't really care. Alright, we're gonna slow push this to 800 gold. And then we have item. Nice. Why is my cursor like this? Slow pushing this, next wave will give me cleaver. I didn't see Kindred Bolt by the way, Kindred might still be top. Because I didn't see him in this play. Wait, Swain didn't have a shutdown? I thought he did. Yeah, I think he is here. I know. <laughs> no, you would definitely do that without Kindred. But don't die on strong side when I'm getting zoned off like five ways, please. Eventually, I know Kindred leaves, right? Yeah, look, he's mid. Like, at that point, I was basically pretty certain that Kindred wasn't there anymore. Because from Kindred's perspective, he already saw that I'm not looking for any intention to play aggressive. So, for Kindred, it doesn't make sense to stay topside there. Does that make sense? Like, I've already shown that I'm not gonna walk up. So, if I put myself in Kindred's shoes, it's like, okay, what is he staying top lane for? I'm not gonna grief anyways. And then, boom, I send it. If Kindred was still there, I just would've saluted and, and accepted that. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Good flush. I might. That's a fetch I done. Alright. Hortensia is up at plate and a solo bolo. Pretty solid landing phase. I got zero help. I hate not having sustain, by the way.
is the wave management top? Well, I think I just typing to Talia and saying, play for me, it was like a wake up call for her to realize, oh wait, Udur no flesh, I can just ult. Oh, well, very nice. As I also get two plates. He loses a wave. I get a wave. I get two plates and the kill. Massive. Gold switch. Wait, he killed the Kindred. That is crazy. I'm in such a strong position now. Oh. oh, it's so massive by the way, they somehow killed Kindred and Swain, even though Uder was being zoned from like 50 million waves, that's such a total frame. Oh well, I was weak set earlier. I have double sums ultimate coming up. Time to play for this Dragoon, and then win the game. I'm gonna fix the bottle if Kassad is walking top. Only Swain can realistically come here, he could look to kill the Swain again. But we don't have to, we can also play Dragon Emit. We have pressure everywhere. How did that happen? How do you end up there? He's a blue trinket. So he doesn't have vision here because he's a blue trinket. I know he has no wards here. I'm gonna check regardless. I'm gonna ult to keep Conqueror stacks up. Yeah. Now that was clean. Did you guys see? So I ulted at the latest frame there to keep up 12 Conqueror stacks. How many kills did I get this game just playing well with Conqueror by the way? Yeah. All to keep the 12 Kong stacks. Flash on top of him, one shot him. GG. I killed the Uder twice almost, playing for Conqueror, and now we get another kill just because of utilizing Conqueror. Maybe I should have played for a tier 2 here, honestly. Probably could have had it. Not good though. Solid game again. Yeah, the only difference there between me and the Swain was that I had level 2 ult, he had level 1 ult, right? So, that's why I was stronger. The level up is uh, the biggest deciding factor there. Low deaths win games. Yes, sir. Keep it clean sheet. I gift five. Okay. Okay, play for KDA. Thank you for the hundred. And thank you for the challenge, Oh wait. Need to not int now. That was like that was like mental pressure. Okay. And the now streaming up point again with turbo viewers as well played center. I'm sorry, power filter. I'm sorry, bro. You know it's always Easier to focus on the hate than the positivity sometimes. It's sad but true. Sometimes I can see 10 positive comments, you see one negative one and somehow that's the one that sticks out. 
But I don't think I'm the only one that has that. Bro, how do you miss those though? Like, kind of crazy. Make it two plays at once. That build is so nasty. Oh, he was cooking there for a second. Uh, so soon, I'm not sure when this video will be done. I'll have flash here, and pretty much three items. Swain does not have TP by the way, very important. Jinx a shield all second. And that like really cringe this build. Cool. Let me do zero damage build. We can fight. We're still stronger. That guy's dead. Cause something else didn't TP, so I'm not gonna go in. Sorry, I'm locked in, guys. Jinx still wants to recall. Oh, no, she got it in. She still hasn't had a recall from last team fight. This guy still is old. Why 
we're not doing this. Walking around gave him a false sense of security because the mean stopped being buffed by Baron, right? So he thought he was safe. But he was not safe. He can't ult when I W him. What an inter. Noise! Another good game. Another clean game, too. I'm making less and less mistakes the more I play. Did I get caught once by them trying to look for me on side lane, too? Just play really clean this game. Zonyas and Flash. Good luck ulting against that. That's why Riven is so good against Kindred. Q3 and W don't allow her to ult. doing good things today man we are playing so clean i like it i like to be back i like to be back i really like it another s pluser true hey wait true we get the plus five wait i didn't die right no no, no i didn't die hey the plus fiver clean 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 game Look at these games, though, in general. Solid. Yeah, Stalia was really good. I agree. He smurfed it. I feel like you always play this good, but this time your teams are just better. High key true. High key true, by the way. Don't give me too much ego, though. But I appreciate it, Ariel. Hey, Alois. Didn't watch Wild the Wild the Education of Condor, but I love the ones that I'll make account. Good luck on next games. Thank you, bro. Hey, Alois. Hate from across the world. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get a string of bad games in the future, remember you'll get rewarded at some point. Yes, I know, but it just sucks sometimes, right? Bro, that was the King sexiest top. thing I've Pulled ever through. seen in my life. My boss. My boss. They call him Alois in LV2. True. Thank you, King Top for the five. My man. Lurker here, glad to see you happy. Since the past couple of days have been a rough couple of games, I agree. Oh shit. This might be a dodge. This might be a dodge, and then we just do some educational gangplank games because I also kind of want to finish the gangplank in general. And then what I'll do is I'll just go onto a masses account because I'm kind of done with the gangplank grind. Like I've been sitting around Diamond 3, Diamond 2 MMR forever. And then I'll just go on an account that's Diamond 1 Master MMR. And then we can finish the gangplank account. Oh, this song is good. This song is good. I'm probably dodging this, guys, because they bad by Riven. And uh, to be fair, our account is Grandmaster now. And. Leaving this account on a high note for once in a day is actually really, 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 really rewarding. And then I can educate you all on the fine manus on Gangplank. Friendly reminds you to drink water? I've been drinking a I, I, Bro, I went to the gym. I drank like two liters of water during my workout, unironically. Okay, one and a half liters. Our draft is so good though. You 
Do you sweat a lot? I do. Even whilst I'm just streaming, bro. Alright, a blind Camille, but probably a dodge. They're picking Bell a uh, Jax. Oh, uh, holy moly. If they don't pick Jax here, I'll be super surprised. It's like the best Jax game ever. It is by far the best Jax game ever. Look at this. Yeah, he's gonna pick Jax into Draven and into Velvet Camille. If this is not a Jax pick, this guy's trolling. Our draft is so good though. Thank you, X7. Good to see you. Someone asked for Championship River, maybe refund? What? What? Wait. Did I play that? I might just play this game. Do we just play? I'm gonna have to side it against either Malphite or Zed. Nah, I don't wanna play this matchup. I'm dodging. Not a fun matchup. I mean, do I play? If I lose, I'm gonna be annoyed. How about we kill two birds in one stone? How about we do kill two birds in one stone? We're Grandmaster now. It's solid. And then we're gonna go Masters. With Gangplank. Let's go. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not gonna do it. I am... I wanna leave it on a high note. We have so many... So many days. Where we leave the stream on a bad note. This was yesterday. After four wins, we still ended up with a loss. This was today. I want to finally... Leave it on a win for once. Don't add me. We're gonna go on Riven PhD and we're gonna play Gangplank. So we're playing Gangplank in high elo. And then we're probably gonna get punished a lot more, which is gonna be more educational too. So we're gonna go... Uh, my account is this. Password is fundamentals123, of course. Rexha game, maybe? Do I look like a pig? I do, but... Don't ask me for Rexha game. That was a rhetorical question. Don't answer it. Can I push for level 2 as Darius against Jace? Depends on Jane's rune setup. For example, Jace plays with face trust. I mean, yes, Darius always can. Darius is stronger than Jace level 1, level 2. I think we just have to wait, yeah. But, uh, for example, if Jace is playing with face rush, he's a lot weaker than if he's playing with Conqueror, right? So that's what you have to memorize as well. Zzzz. Zzz. Are you a B? Wait, Jackson low elo series? I gotta do set first. Okay, guess verifying that I began playing. Yo, Rem. How far can you get playing 160 to 200 ping? I am not sure. I've never tried. When is my birthday? It's 18th of February. So it was about two months ago. You're late. You're late, bro. You look like a pig. So does your mom. Sorry, I'll take it back. Kidding, I won't. Alright. Playing two to three gangplank games in Masses MMR. And then we're done with the gangplank challenge too. The next champion that I'll play unranked to master, by the way, is going to be Riven. I'm gonna do unranked to masses on Riven again. Updated for season 14. Full educational. Full, 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 full educational. You're gonna hear a lot of cute lay. I'm turning 30 this year. I'm an old man. That's okay, but I'm turning 42. Next year. Yo, Nate, good to see you. We've been, uh... Brr, brr, brr. Akshanos. Watch matchup. Yon can play as any carry if it's paired with Senna, I think.
I did do Yorick scoops. The unranked ambassador on Yorick is on YouTube. I actually did do Yorick. We'll do set, but it's going to be how to climb out of low MR with set. Are you still going with Korea? I mean, short term, probably not. I'm probably going to look for my own apartment instead. So I'll live on my own. Oh, for God. That's very logical. Let's shut up. And, uh, and that's mainly because Scenarios is not able to get a right account. And that would mean I have to travel by myself, which is something I do not want to do. So yeah, that. Not the best rough for game plan here, I'm gonna be honest. Not the best rough for game plan here at all. No, I got uh, banned as well last time in Korea. This is a really bad gangplank game. How is Korea outside of League of Legends? Well, I spent about two days, one and a half day, exploring Korea. Other than that, nothing. I only played League of Legends whilst I was there. Only grinding, 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 grinding. So, uh, I didn't see much of Korea. Ranger can always kill me. Leona can always jump on top of me. And this champion is really hard to land into. Oh, I have all skins. Alright, King Top. Do we go first hack or fleet into this Mundo matchup? Mundo is so broken here, by the way. Mundo is so broken here. We have zero champions that deal percentage half damage. All of our damage deal flat stats. And Mundo is amazing into that. I did try a lot of food. This should be a dodge, but well, let's play it for the educational purpose. Let me use the game. All right, full master in game plan game. Let's go. See what we can do here. Not a good, not a good draft though, because I mean this matchup is kind of fine. We're both scaling, right? But um, Ranger gank always kills me. Very hard to side into this and this champion. I can't really kill them. And then Draven, my ult is really good to do Draven, but Leona is very hard to deal with. Let's see. I hope this is not briefcase, man. I sincerely hope it's not. Let's see. Yo, Paco, you. I'm doing good. No cut on this game. Good call, actually. I could have. I should have gone cut down. Wow, not Edward. You're so right. Tuma, do you want a bet, buddy? You pig. Alright, it's gonna be full farmland. Let's go. His first item, hard steel, costs. How much does it cost? I literally made a video on him the other day. What is it? Am I blind? Wait, does this not build into it? Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't. No. Did you? Anyways, uh, one thing to mention here, guys, is that Mundo's hardest part of his landing phase is level 1 to level 6. Once he gets his first recall in, he can get perma priority. But, same kind of goes for Gangplank. I'm a very weak early game champion. So, I cannot punish the fact that he is super weak early, unfortunately. 
I'm still gonna look for priority. But I can't do much. All right. I do want to look for priority in early game, like I said. I should want cut down. El Bano, thank you for the primer. Appreciate it, bro. My main, they were a sport. Hate is a child's word. <laughs> Betrayal stings like salt on a wound. That's not a good trade. My heart is iron. Important to let these barrels in the early game. You just be mindful with trading into me as well now. Very good. I'm gonna do points into Q. Two points into Q rather. Don't let him hit my W on me. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not playing with like Ignite or something. Maybe my setup is also bad here. Maybe I should just run the Ignite in this matchup. I could be able to I would be able to die from here. Without Ignite, I just don't have much kill pressure. He's gonna hit level four. Oh, that's bad. Ah, uh, well, I need to at least secure Sheen on my recall. He has W2, so I... Oh, I didn't even mean to hit that. Well, there goes my barrel too. I will have Sheen on my first recall, but that's that. He just out-sustains me with fleet. He has no flash. If this thing comes, we kill him. He hit level 5. He's still dead though. I would have killed him, but he hit level 5 as well. He was dead, but he got level 5, so he got a lot of HP. I want to get the cannon and recall. It's gonna give me level up, so I get mana. I think I'm just in time before he can hit me. Nice! Okay, well done. Okay, still good, still good suit. No, I have fleet runes, I have fleet, but maybe maybe uh, first strike was more efficient. I think in hindsight first strike would be more efficient. I'll just sit on this. Could have also bought boots actually, but I really want to rush into the Essence Reaver because the, the faster I get that, the faster I can really start stacking up the money. Especially without already missing the first strike too. What is that play? Alright, he bought a giant's belt, very standard. I think I should have gone for the first arc setup, because I can proc it a lot against him, and then that would also just give me more gold income in general, right? With fleet I get more sustain, but I'm not sure what I value more. Okay, maybe for sustain is good. Okay, just cock at me. He's playing cocky. I like it. Challenge me. Alois is a very successful player. Can I make sure I hey boss, him for the fleet? can you stream when I don't have school? It's hard for me to catch you on stream. I'm sorry, bro. I'll try to adjust it. 
Got Dutch's Q. Oh, never mind. Thank you for the primer. Okay. He's gonna have ult right very soon, so I'm gonna use his timer to cash in the wave. And we get a recoin. Okay, very good. He's gonna hit level 6 probably from this main already. Yep. I didn't know it exactly, but I knew it was very, very close. Calculate the guess. I'm gonna go for this, because I want to get to this ASAP as I explained earlier. So I don't buy boots longsword here. I go for this. I have ult. I'm gonna ping that to my team. I ult, so I also get the wave. Give me the kill too. Look at those minions going into my pocket, baby. Very smart placement of the ultimate there. Maximizing my income, getting an assist, acting like I'm helping my team, but getting the wave too. Yes. Yes. That's how we do it over here. And now I can either freeze, or I can hard push. Well, I'm gonna hard push. And that is because I can pretty much get my essence reaver here from this reset. Because a cannon waves grant you 200 gold. That's why I also left an extra barrel here. So this first barrel I'll just auto. And the second barrel I can queue. That's the fastest way to push the wave. I'm also gonna do it like so. And now we're gonna have enough money. I'm not gonna stay for the plate, because it would grab me my item completely, but it also ruined my tempo and I would get my reset in. And now I have my full essence reaver. And now, getting this at minute 7 is the hardest part for me done. I'm not gonna wait for it, I'll just go into depth. And now I can start one-shooting waves, and that is going to allow me to expand my lane. So every wave I farm right now, remember, I get gold from my Q. If I press shift here, 7 or 6 gold per mean that I get extra. So uh, we're gonna be looking to optimize that. And now we're in a very, very stable spot. And every... Rafix, <laughs> thank you for the one, bro. You're consistent at it. Let's go, Wagon. Every wave that I farm, even with the with the Mundo, I will still get more gold. Yo, Rafix, I hope you do the maze, Chief. I thought we were on a gaming stream, not a financial investment one. One say. Holy moly, he's lucky. I couldn't twice too, though. I did a lot of solo bucket crits there. Leave it 100 king top. You're right. Okay, let's keep it up. He has no ult. And now this is where the fleet comes into play. Reminder, fleet doesn't heal you for... Oh. Fleet doesn't heal you for that much onto minions, but it heals more onto champions. So you want to try and prioritize landing your Qs on either jungle camps or your uh, lane opponent. Or, and that's the last option, um, turrets with auto attacks. Turrets, neutral camps, or champions. That is what heals you from fleet the most. Slow pushing this wave so I can hard push next. We can dive this. He has no ult. How should we diversify our portfolio, Mr. Wolf of Top Lane Street? Uh, I don't know, bro. Just uh, invest in the S&P 500 and uh, call it a day. There you go. By the way, you should ask Mundo, not Gangplank. Ping up the dive setup here. I mean, after that crit. Hard to mess up. Hold well on. I'm gonna wait for medicine to be gone, and then we kill this. No shedding here. Let's go! Keep expanding the lead here. I'm expecting him to TP, if he does not. I'm gonna wait for my passive, cue the barrel, and then get another passive. And we snack this plate too. Remember, barrel resets your passive, so here. Passive, barrel, passive. Get the plate too. I'm gonna hit this one just with the Q. Well, crit makes it even faster. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 100 CS at minute 10. That is exactly what you want to see on Gangplank, guys. Remember, if you farm even with your opponent, you are already winning. Now, paired with that, I'm even ahead against my late opponent too. Now we're gonna go double crit cloak, so I have 50% crit. And we're gonna keep expanding our lead. He's still yet to get into one item. Uh, this item is going to be very good for us. I look at the passive here. Deal up to 15% bonus damage against champions with greater max health than you. Greater max health. Uh, Leona? Uh, Mundo? We like that greater max health. We like that. No, I have not done set yet. But set is will, will be the next champion that I do how to climb out of lower MMR on. I will try and upload it before the end of this week. Yo, Lotus, good to see you. 
Yes. Gangplank's W will not save him from the Mordecai's ult anymore. I know. That is true. Is he playing for the plates here? If I can, why not? I'm gonna trick it this very deep. It's always a very solid ward to have, and I mean, we're applying the same concept that I would do in Diamond or any other ELO. He has his heart steel now. But we're doing it very consistent. Our team is playing well this game, too. Do a little one-two. No crits yet. There's the crit. 420 on his face. Maybe I started that too fast. I started that way too fast. I gave it away. They gave it a primer Zloty. I gave that away, I think. I never have to trade with this guy. I'm gonna look for camps now too. I'm gonna say my bet. I gave it away. And that's because I have infinite mana and health anyways. Gangplank is the ultimate abuser of fundamentals. You see that 82 healing? That's from Fleet. I shouldn't give him time on my plates though, he's gonna smack two up. Oh, shit. He dies. Ooh. Yeah, I did give him two plates. You should never give him window time on your plates, I forgot. Remember, the more max health you have, the more damage your demolish procs will do, and uh, yeah, Mundo gets a lot of health. Oh shit. I wanted to passive hit barrel and kill, but he spotted it very fast that I had blood in my eyes. I'm surprised how fast he saw that, by the way. There we go, finally. Finally. And this kill is so massive because it's also gonna lead into this turret for me. So it's the kill, and then the turret, the Rangars on Dragon, and I can also reset the side wave. And then we're gonna be two items pretty much here. So also the first turret. We are in such a good position now. After that solo bolo. Perfect kill timer. Gonna pocket in the barrel, wait for this castus to come. Bomba. And now. We are Bill Gatos. Let's go. Hey, thank you, Just Incredible 76. I appreciate that so much, man. Put a smile on my face to read that. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kindness. I'm gonna sell this so I don't go into debt. Guys, one piece of financial advice. Don't go into debt. GG. <laughs> what am I saying? You can... Yo, you can leave the base at minus three, by the way. And not go in debt. Well, I've have... Well, I've F. Well, I've F. Well, F. F. It's okay. Didn't need the 50 gold. Bro, you're allowed to leave the base at minus 3, by the way, and still and still not go in depth. I'm not kidding, by the way. I have ult. This Draven is an issue. Nice ego. Give me the kill, give me the kill, give me the kill. Bro, what? This seems like nobody gets this kill. I like it. He can't so. Please don't dive me, Rengar. I gotta wait for my fleet proc. Plus 100, very balanced. Fleet will just gradually get me back to full HP. I'm gonna showcase you why Fleet is so broken, okay? Why this rune is absolutely overtuned. I have 69 healing right now. Watch how much this camp heals me already. Balanced. Plus 100 right there. Waiting for next week, proc. Gonna let this camp walk with me here. And plus 200. And W, I'm back to full HP. Balance, no? Remember, you only proc this on turrets, junk camps, and champions. But uh, yeah, camps are very easy to proc. Okay, Rengar is on the Herald. Um... I think he dies. Yep. Wow, she walked forwards. Wait. 
GG. Easy. I killed the Mundo there with the passive. Your passive is so broken. Minus one though. Well, clean. Very clean. And now we're gonna be three items before Mundo is one item or two items, realistically. And GG. Clean, 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 clean. Yo, not clean. Yo, needs na Jomi. Good to see you. Yeah, guys, don't say well played. Don't say well played. Just say minus one because you're all pigs. Hey, yeah. Not a, not a single well played, but there is four minus one pigs. Oh, thank you, Falbenham. Falbenham. Hey, Falbenham. My G. My G. My G. Let me, dude. Beg. Sorry, I felt very powerful there. I felt very powerful. Oh, Zolo Zolotoy, first time chapter and subbed. Now that's based. I'm level 13, buddy. You are dead. Once you are level 13 in this gangplank, your barrels come out very fast. And so his ult is very long, very high cooldown. You don't want to lay 1v1. What? Is he mad? You seen Kishra as the early game. Do I say the line? Oh. May have messed up the here a little bit. The reason I want to say is because he's small and people take him seriously. Well, Ezra was uh, blind. No. Oh, chat, this is not it. And I hit, I hit the Rengar. Well, that was not it, huh? That was not it. 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 Guys, that was not it. Aaron, take your prime. Holy shit, this is an issue. This guy's gonna one-shot me the rest of the game now. Mamma mia, mamma mia. He got all the shutdowns. Yo, dude, good to see you, bro. Oh, that's just not good. This Ringer is a menace now. We need Shubo. But that might not save us anymore. We might be past Shubo. I can leave the base with minus one. Yeah, okay. They're not gonna steal money from me again. He's gonna turn on my Ari. He's so mad. He is so mad. He is so angry. I would be too, by the way. I knew there was a message coming. I'll take back what's mine. Everyone pay the I didn't hit my barrel, I killed him. And yeah, that's gonna happen the rest of the game, guys. I could have won that if I l hit my barrel. I should have hit my barrel. Ah! My bad. How to play GP against Aatrox in lane? I played the matchup once or twice, so... Um, there's that, you can search it in the votes. Why is this thing not kicking? That was a very late kick. Good leg. Oi, oi, oi. This Ezreal does not perform well under pressure. He starts missing everything. Oh shit. We didn't kill him, and now she's dead. This game is ugly, bro. Very ugly. Very ugly.
Who's gonna type again? Like the pike made a difference. We gotta kill this guy. He has no flesh. Wait, we can do dash. We can do dash. We can do it. Focus here. Check, Check phone. phone. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in the game, bro. A good call. We are dead. We have no turret to kite towards. Are you kidding me? Alright, let me check my phone quickly. Yeah, yeah, Tar, you can cook. Okay. So many unlucky moments this game, I don't lie. I'm a little bit distracted too. I have four items now though. Drenger is three, this guy's gonna have three. I'm still one item out of the curve. There's a little thing on my thing. Okay. We should still be fine here. It's just Ranger that needs to die. I have to TP here probably. There's a safe TP here. Maybe there's not. This is safe TP because there's no bushes. I can't move. <sighs> well, we got a lot. I killed so many people there by myself, pretty much. They all kited into my ult, and my ult is like a very... how do you say it? Um, my people underestimate my ultimate damage. Could death sense be helpful here? Um, I don't think so. Maybe Garden Angel is good though. Actually, Garden Angel is probably good. I'll go Garden Angel. 80% crit is enough. I think our team just wins here. Walk up. What? Just kill them. Holy moly. We don't win if we play like that. That's guaranteed. But that was beyond ugly. Holy moly, what was that? Ghosting. They're gonna kill the turret. My ult again is dealing so much damage on them though. 1k damage on that guy. I hate playing against Anivia. This is what I said would happen though. Leona and Anivia, it's unplayable for gangplank because I'm an immobile champion and playing a champion without dashes into Anivia and Leona is like impossible challenge. Genuinely impossible challenge. It's so incredibly hard. Okay, Rengar Flash is pretty massive. Uh, just wait for your W and then old Q. I don't know. The infinite amount of misplays from my teammates as well. Although I shouldn't focus everything on my teammates, I'm also making plenty of mistakes myself, but they are playing fights very suboptimal. That's uh Okay, well played, well played, well played. He was angry now. I gotta defend this Mundo from getting the tier two. He pushes towards extremely fast. I can still want one of those still strong enough. I'm not sure how we can get a firm grip on this game. They have three dragons. We got one Nash, but it wasn't enough. Their dragon's gonna have four items now. Which is tricky. 
The Rengar's gonna fight this too. Yeah. We need to play for this. I feel like if you go for this, you're just gonna die to Rengar. I heard the also already dying bot lane. Okay, we have no flashes yet either. But so does Dra Draven doesn't have flash, I know that. Need a little bit more money. 217. Well, who would have thought, guys? That is such a surprise. That is such a surprise. Man. I still beat him. Maybe not. Okay, I do. I needed to hit the barrels. Rengar's coming. I don't have barrels. I need to auto attack as much as I can. The sea has no memory, but I do. Tides of death will herald my return. Right. Don't worry, bro. I'm even more mad. Poor guy. Losing to a bad GP who costs two v one fundamentals. <laughs> bro, the, when I said fundamentals, holy moly, that stuck with him. That stuck with him. Deadline. All use purpose. You can use it to outplay your opponents or to tilt them. Use it wisely. My team man, they get doing the most amazing things this fight. Draven dies. Nope. He was there. I don't know. I'm fighting four people myself this fight. My teammates are beyond useless. In your face. <laughs> I don't know, man. These champions are all skill based and they are not skilled. What can I say? I gotta open my windows a little hot here. Two cloud? Yeah, that's the issue that you're use missing your Ebro. Wait till they have three, I guess. Yeah. And we just keep dying. We are perma dead. I hope all your moms die. That's genuinely like instantly like banned, no? Like genuinely insta banned. Everyone pays. Keeps getting caught and says that well played, bro. Well played. Yeah, it's my bad that you die, bro. Don't let Mundo carry this game too hard. Your X guy is a pretty good line, no? I don't think we can carry this one anymore, though. I had a pretty good lead, but once I died to the Rengar Yen River, that was also really my mistake. Oh. I misplayed that. I walked into the He has 60 stacks on Hubris, bro. That was a good kick. At this point, it doesn't matter. Mundo also skills so hard now. Like, he's 6.5k HP with 340 AD. 
Anas Al Sarmani, thank you for the tier one. I don't know. I like it. I like the game. Still educational though, so that's good. But I knew this would be a real big challenge to their draft, and it showed. I could have played some fights better, right? Especially mechanically, but it was very hard to play to their team. I should have just never TP'd to the one skirmish in, in the river. That really turned the game when the Ranger got so monster fed. That was definitely a game losing blunder. Okay, let's see. Next game, we either play Skarner, GP, or another game of Gangplank. Maybe one more game in Gangplank where we win, and then the Gangplank challenge is done too. That guy is legit getting banned though because of his message. That is like an insta-filtered ban, by the way. You cannot escape that one. You'll not escape the wrath of Riot Games after saying that. That one is an insta-ban. Guaranteed. Yeah, I think Flesh Ignite is probably better. Flesh Ignite is probably more consistent. Okay, let's switch signups. It is so hot, by the way. Holy moly. Why is it even so warm? Uh, no good signups. What about Lonam? This one. Another Lonam banger? Six months ago. I'll watch it. These are always super good. By far the best high or edited highlights in League of Legends. Please dodge every Q. That's a humbling channel, or that's a humbling uh, scenario. Here's the channel. Oh, that's an instant shoe ball. That must have been, yeah, that's six months ago. Shoe ball rush was still good. Insta wiped. Wait, I think I remember this name, by the way. When we were in Korea. Six months ago. It lines up, kind of? No? No, it doesn't. I was there nine months ago. But then you also don't know from when the clips are, of course. Yo... Uh, Riven has been going amazing. We hit Grandmaster today. Thank you for asking. Oh, wait. We're playing Gangplank. I forgot. One more Gangplank game, guys. And then the Gangplank challenge is done. Then we're going to do how to climb out of lower MMR. Well, how to... Uh, under to Challenger, maybe, on Riven. <clears throat> that is crazy. Hey, Jenna, play. How... Okay, that was crazy. That was crazy. Wait, I got Ben. Wait, what? What happened? Did he did he pull the Rankton? Oh, wait, he taunted the Renekton and flashed away. Oh my days, is that crazy. That is so crazy. Wait, this is Civ HD, brushy, brushy. Oh. Yeah, I want to do the A to Z challenge. That would be a good one. Maybe... Uh, maybe what I should do is do the A to Z challenge in top lane, and then once that is done, we'll play other roles. Because if I don't go to Korea, that might be the best angle of content we can do. This is the video. That might be the good one. Oi, oi, oi. What are we laying against here? J 
Jarvan Olaf. Jarvan Olaf. Why do I have a mollified mid? Bro, Jarvan Olaf, that's not gonna be fun. But later it will be. We're just gonna play this matchup completely trade avoided again. Like, we are not going to be trading. We are not going to be trading. So I'll go for strike. But I will also run the uh, bone plating and overgrowth. And we just uh, we just look at the skill here. Cool. Nice ball. Let's go this. Oh, okay. Hold on a second, which unlucky. How many subs are playing 80 carry to master? I'll do another roll, but I'm not sure what you want to do first. Against Urgot, not an easy champion. <sighs> Pew pop. Did anybody follow what she did? I didn't. I definitely didn't. I most definitely lost track somewhere along that clip. We gotta rewatch that one for a second. You yeah, showed me. Oh, thank you. Hey, and that's been uh, Akshanus. Let's rewatch that. That was crazy, Frog. Wait, how could she still queue into the Urgot? Oh, she queues into a me and then flashes away. So Q onto him, auto. Auto WQ. Q to that me, Q to that me for level 6. Wait, when did she hit level 6 even? She doesn't get... Oh, she got 6 on the kill. Yeah. Well, that was impressive. In she on meat. The initial meat guy from Korea. What an angry fellow. What a name too. Everfrost. Can I get a shout out to Everfrost? That's Gaetan. Yo, Chris Napan, good to see you. Wait, what? That's crazy. Where do I live in the Netherlands? I live in... I live very near Amsterdam. I live very close to Amsterdam. Which champion next and how to climb at a lower elo? That will be set. Set. Will be the one. Yo, flipper, max skipper. Good to see you, bro. Oi, 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 oi. Look how much engage, engage they have again. So I just had a game with a jungler. He died level 1, got tilted, and started going top lane smiting my means. No, nothing you can do, bro. You're just a victim to that guy. I got a friend learning Kindred. Who can I learn from? Kindred players. I just watch scenarios and learn how to play jungle in general. Gwen. Not an easy matchup. Not an easy matchup. The games have been amazing today. Our main account is to Grand Maestro. Uh, we need boots in the early game. And I'll go fleet into Gwen for sure. Definitely a fleet angle. Uh, definitely a fleet angle. I'll go this. Yeah, we just look at the skill. Uh, boots in the early game are pretty good. I can go either Mercs or Tier 2 Boots. Uh, or Boots of... Uh, what's it called? Mercs or Boots of Swiftness. Let's see. This is, again, a pretty hard drop for me to execute. But... If my Master Yi is good... Playable. But they have... Wukong is a hard counter to Master Yi. Lissandra is a hard counter. Nautilus is a hard counter. It's gonna be hard. This Master... All these scenarios would do well here. 
Uh, I will still do Unranked to Masses. I'm gonna do Riven. Unranked to Masses next. The How to Climb Out of Low MMR, I usually do off stream. Because I don't think too many people would enjoy seeing me play in Bronze 2 Emerald MMR. I think, at least. So that's why I haven't done it. I do those off stream, so I record them. Alright, let's go for this chill playlist. Tuma, your joke is out, bro. Your joke doesn't work anymore. Alright, Tuma, I got a joke for you. Toma, Toma, just for you, okay? You gotta answer quickly. Toma. What mouse has two legs, Toma? What mouse has two legs? Which mouse? Which mouse has two legs, Toma? Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. True, Mickey Mouse. Alright. What duck has two legs? What duck has two legs? No, not Donald Duck. Every duck, piggies. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm on my leading face now. Fundamentals. Piggies. With your Donald Duck. Everybody said Donald Duck got screwed over. Everybody said Donald Duck fell for it. Is it Alois or Alois? Is your mom? Dude, that joke is good. I don't care what you say. That joke is good. My last setting ain't. I'm kind of getting gapped here, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Not focused because of my stupid joke. And uh, D sheet second wind is a little bit too broken as well. I've traded way too much in this matchup in the early game than I should. I wasn't focused at all. Oh, that's what happens when you're not focused on your first wave. Oh my days, what is that gank then? What? What? Well, he just messed up his first clear so hard there. Because uh, you, you, Messi is already done with his full clear. Pretty much. But does Massey really get surprised that Wukong is there or what? Like, he legit gets rewarded. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's low elo. How do you get four elephants out How of a car? How do you get four elephants out of a car? Thank you for the 100. I'm not gonna answer. Dude, Massey is going full. Full. Full emotional there. What an idiot. Uh, I don't know how you get four elephants out of a car. You grab them by the cheeks and you drag them out. I don't know how Messi that, like doesn't get that by the way. Actually, better question: How did you get four elephants in the car in the first place, anyways? By opening the door. Okay. By opening the door. So how did you get four of them in there? How would you get four elephants in the car in the first place? That's a better question. I'm very curious how you did that. Bro, I'm supposed to be educational, by the way. Let's focus here. Okay, let's focus. It's already completely doomed. You know what? We'll play one more gameplay game. I can't focus. I'll chill with the bros this one. We're, we're riding this one. I can't trade too much because she's still gonna base TP and we're already behind. Next wave she's gonna hit level 6 by the way. Not this one. Oh, 
Ai, ai, ai. Yo Alois underscore NLI am the one who asks the questions here. Now okay. focus Piggy. Sorry. Sorry bro. Sorry that your mom is fat. I'm scared. Words mean nothing. Flesh kills white. Okay, we're chilling. Everyone pays. Scum. Hate is a child. Okay, nice. She could kill there. I think she didn't have enough mana for her ult. That's why she didn't go. That's what I believe. But then again, I'm not sure. Maybe I just lucked out and she had a stroke. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> what is this song? I mean, we're kind of even. That's all right. Um, I don't have boots now. She's going to be way stronger depending on what she builds as well. I just need to get 700 gold with Essence Reaver. Okay, she didn't go for boots either. Oh shit, Red Rise and that is a tilter, man. Alright, I'm happy getting pushed in because that means I'm never forced to walk up for last hits and I'm pretty sure Wukong is level 6, so I'm gonna ward here. And just be mindful. I never want to give her a chance to run me down the lane, pretty much. That was a horrible barrel. I have level 6 here, but... Okay, Wukong is both sides. He used ult. Because I saw red buff go sky. That's good. Well, I almost wanted him there with that one. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Yo, Tuma, thank you for the tier 1. Your joke is still not funny though. But thank you for the tier 1. My vengeance will be Gwen can move, but I don't mind it that much. I'm getting more gold from this wife anyway than she is. Is this a cannon wave? It is. That wave is giving me 200 gold exactly. Her proxy actually doesn't face me at all because I'm literally, unironically, practically, physically, really getting more gold per wave than she is. And that is due to my Q passive. Every time I kill a wave with my Q, and that counts on the barrel too, I get all the gold amplified. I get extra gold basically. Additional gold for every minute that I kill with the Q. And so you see here, after I kill a wave, you see plus 42. And that's extra Dooku. That I, she's, okay, I need to stop saying that word though. That's extra money that she's not getting. I'm sorry for using that phrase. Very illegal. Alright, we're a little bit later to the Essence Reaver. One minute later than the last game, but we're still in a very solid position. She's not gonna have a full item yet. We're pretty much dead even in the top lane, but that's good for me. Remember, I always say this. If you are even as Gangplank, you are winning! So we're chilling. Are main stronger? No, neither are theirs. She doesn't have a full item, I do. I'm just better. Give me an assist, give me some money, thank you. I wouldn't mind too. Thank you. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm perma banning you. Okay, that flash was good, I think. She used Ghost Ult. Nice. Thank you, Lawnmower for 20 for the Prime. <laughs> what is that name, bro? That's a curveball. Where am I from? I am from the Netherlands. Alright. Not sure if I had to flash, but I didn't have an additional barrel and no passive. 
My TP is back, hers is not. But Wukong does have ult, so I gotta be still very mindful with how I approach this wave here. If Wukong comes, I'm dead. So let's risk it. I'll place one defensive barrel. Ooh. Passive. Barrel. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you. So do I buy mercs or tier 2 boots? Or what do I buy, chat? What? What are we thinking? What are thinking? Wukong bot. Do I just buy the merc treaders? I think I should. No R, no ghost. Hit him, baby. Hit him, baby, with the charm. Charm that bitch. Michael, 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 Michael! All good though, well played team. Same game as last time, let's not grieve the macro now and let's keep playing well. Double crit cloak? Yeah, I did that, I did the double crit cloak with my inventory. Six scrubs. Sheesh! Waiting for the passive always. Never waste passive for fun. And then you can double proc it. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure you can just take the full turn here, but should I? I mean, I pretty much get it anyways. Let's do it. Wukong is bolt. As long as Gwen doesn't finish her item, she's pretty weak. But if she has to finish here, we gotta be a little bit wary. So it's the first time checking when I see the Gwen here. See how ugly she is. Okay, she's not ugly enough yet. Yes! 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 Hey, Merc save me. You just saw what I'm saying. Merc save me, baby. Uh, only Lissandra could be here. I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can on the turret. Merc save me again! So much ego. I'm sorry. And I can't undo it. Why? Why can I not undo the purge? I needed it. I just needed it. I needed it. I needed it for the ego. I needed it for the ego, man. I needed it for the ego. Did I hit the mean for flip proc movement speed? I was like, that's what happened. That's kind of what happened there. Play by play. That was play by play. Oh good though, we're still almost two items while she's still yet to finish her first, so let's go. Hey, how good was those mercs though? How good, how good were the mercs though? Nipple resin with the oink oink. I won't make a real mom joke, he's first time chatter, I'll let him, I'll let him get introduced to the stream, it's okay. No your mom jokes in the first time chatter. Very tempting though, very tempting though. Get the monkey guy. A reckoning approaches. Hello, do you ever listen to Rainbow Kitten Surprise? Um, that sounds uh, for lack of better words. I would say it. A little weird. But maybe, maybe I'm just not cultured enough. I'm hungry, by the way. I'm starving. I am Rangiri. And I was gonna eat at an Irish pub today, but plans were cancelled. Unlucky. Guys, what should I order for food today? What should I order for food today? What should I order for food? That time. That timing, by the way. Did you see that timing? Crazy. She has a full item now, finally. And once I'm level 13, I win, though. McDonald's, pizza, curry. Curry is a good suggestion. McDonald's worse. Pizza is even wor worse. Guys, I don't eat pork, and I'm lactose intolerant. Pizza is like everything I can't eat, pretty much. Milo just took it, this little rat. 
Burrito poo. Get pizza now, get pizza too, Tyson. I can't eat pizza, bro. Like, what pizza do I get? The pizza I used to eat was pizza chicken kebab. But every time I eat any type of... That W is balanced. I missed everything, and then at the end, that's the birthday. Let's go. Get pizza, no cheese. It's like, I don't know. Why do I eat pizza if I'm not gonna eat it with cheese? It's like... Mama, I need something against the monkey here. Nothing to do. <clears throat> I did so much damage still, even through his passive and pa uh, tabbies. But I guess it's also true damage. I mean, this game is going really good though. But it wasn't that educational because I got distracted by so many people in chat. Your guys' fault, by the way. Check out my highlighted joke, please. What do 99% of pigs ask for on their hamburgers? Piggles. Alright. You got any other joke power filter? Countdown to 600. Alright. Piggles. 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 Piggy. Words mean nothing. Don't worry, I got him already. He tried. Let's get some extra money. Forty two bug. Star like star. They were twenty two, brother. Bro, I'm taking you to 50. Get a pepperoni, ham, and bacon pizza. Yeah, bro. Sounds amazing. Except I'm the pig. I'm level 13. I win every 1v1 now. Watch this. Every 1v1 is easy now. Once you're level 13. Roko, careful. You might be first time. Wait, what? Why did Wukong just leave? Movement! W! Fundamentals. Yeah. Why did the Mukon just run away, by the way? I was 100% dead. And then Mukon just ran away. I like it. Give him my honor. Well played, streamer. Wait! Chat is actually positive for once. With this good song too. Thank you, bros. Some nice, wholesome streamers. Or chatters, whoops. Some nice piggies. Get that tier 2 turret as well. Add it on top, cherry on top. This is cherry, or, oh no, the, the, the screaming gives me extra damage actually. Passive, passive. Another passive. Bomba. Level 13 gangplank, baby. Okay, I shouldn't emote. Hey, level 13 gangplank, though. Level 13 gangplank, though. Chat might be ill, Sag cry. Chat might be ill? Positivity is good. Alright, everybody, give a compliment to Fly Loaf. It's all started. Fly Loaf, fish, your mom is looking very good today. Chat, you guys turn. Give Fly Love as a compliment, please. My vengeance will be bloody. Oh, run! <laughs> the pigeon, I said a compliment, you pig. I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. Where's my crit? All right, there we go. <laughs> there you go. All these wholesome chatters. Alright, now I'll never miss out on a crit anymore. This build looks blue. 
Hamburger Thursday. Grosjean from the past. Why do you have Hamburger Thursday, bro? I can already smell the grease from your chin right here. Hamburger Thursday. What is it? Burrito Friday? McDonald's Wednesday? Pizza Monday? Hamburger Thursday. That one was a good barrel. Don't this hamburger Thursday. Burger Thursday, brother. <laughs> he just embraces it. He's doubling down, double dipping. All right. You're goaded for winning it Among Us game with Baus. Holy, that's a long time ago. That's the first game. Baus carried it, by the way. He won behind it. He somehow gaslit. He, he somehow gaslit everybody to vote of um. What's his name? Solar Baka for nothing. All right, good game. We won a game with Garen, a gangplank in Masters. Can we add this? Sure. Can we add this? Yeah, we can actually. That's very accurate. Very accurate for the stream. Let's play one more game on uh, one more, one more, one more gangplank game. Oh, it's getting late though. It's nine p.m. What am I gonna eat for dinner at nine p.m. Guys, what do I eat for dinner at nine p.m. Though, what is gonna be open at nine p.m. 9.30 p.m. by the time I'm done. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll get, like, fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. I can blame chat that I have to play one more game. Right? We're blaming chat that I have to play one more game. Against my will, somehow. And that gives me the opportunity to order food at 9.30. But at that point, every healthy place is closed. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, I guess it's Thursday. Piggy evening. Piggy evening. Piggy evening for Thursday. You have done that in Dallas? Yeah, I do. What if I told you that I had two kebabs on Monday? Kiro, hamburger donderdag. All right. GG. Why eat healthy? Okay, my bad. Out of curiosity, why is the GP on Ranked Demands happening on the Riven PhD account? Because the Gangplank account has been shifting between Diamond 2 to Diamond 3 MMR, and I'm, I don't want to play it all the way up to Masters. So I was like, you know what? I'll just play the game as a Mastery low instantly, and then we're done. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Mr. Streamer, you even read out my joke wrong. <laughs> I don't deserve the timeout. Power filter, what are you gonna do about it? Hmm? Guys, can we all give power filter a compliment and he cannot react? Yo, need AP, need AP though. Need AP, need AP. Okay, I'll unban him. How do I even do that? Yo, power filter, can you type something in chat so I can unmute you? Oh, wait. It doesn't work like that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Your mom is a lovely piggy. Damn. Damn. Oh, Camille matchup. It's a good, pretty good one for Gangplank, actually. Wukong, Wukong Camille is hard, though. But this matchup becomes really Gangplank favored. After first recall. Pre-first recall, Camille wins. After first recall, this is one of the best matchups for Gangplank. Because my Q poke isn't significant enough before first recall, but afterwards it's gonna be amazing. Don't worry. He's gonna get unbent. He's gonna get unbent very soon. Oh, I am so hungry, actually, though. <sighs> I consciously had a very small lunch because, because, 
I was gonna get uh, Lewis is I was gonna outfit them, but yeah. Cinched soon, winking face. Mm, thank you for the prime. I'm gonna do no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't play cinched. I see me playing cinched. Oh, now we're getting to the bangers. Now we're getting to the bangers. Let's go. All right, guys, multiple things to consider. First things first is Camille beats me in this matchup pre-level six because my Q poke isn't significant enough, all right? Second thing to consider, after level six, if Wukong is ever nearby, I am dead, plus they have a global ultimate in mid lane. It's not gonna be easy to play this game. Yeah, I've had Kip Corn a lot. Kip Corn is alright. <laughs> Yo, Power Filter! Good to see you, bro. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, bro? Get any, can I get any jokes about pickles? That's what I thought. Yo, Pro Failure, I'm doing amazing. I hope you're doing good yourself. Toma, make a joke one more time, see what happens. Wait, Fly Lois, what did I miss? Wait, don't hook me, by the way. I'm gonna stand here. If they hook somebody, they're not hooking me. Penta! Penta! I got nothing. I didn't even do my barrel. Wait, I should have propped the barrel, maybe. I thought my barrel would legit get a penta kill. I got nothing. That's sad. It's song request? I didn't see it. Where is it? Where's the song request? I don't see it. I don't see the song request. Guess all I can think about is my hungry stomach at the moment. That's crazy, no? Oh, here. What is the song? It better be a good song. Okay, not right now. Sorry. Not right now. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. We can uh, refund it. Okay, let's focus now. Remember, this matchup is not hard winning for me. Okay. Well, that was really greedy by me. That was a good chance she was in there. I shouldn't have face checked that. I should ward that. I've really messed up my landing face here already. I gotta, I gotta look in. This was bad. And I missed the barrel. Okay, we at least hit one. She gets level two from that mean. I gotta be careful. Because she can E onto the wall. The wave is still pushing into me, which is most important. So that's gonna make it so I'm not forced to walk up for last hit. But still, I'm not happy with how I played this early game here. She has no E at least, she selected W. Two means here for her to get level 3. Her W isn't back yet. Her W is a 17 second cooldown in the early game, so... Oh, she's gonna hit level 3 there from that mean. So I'm gonna step backwards here. I'm gonna ward here to see if I can cancel her potential reset in the future. I just wanna set an XP range, I believe I did. And that one too. Yeah, the level 1 trait was just super super awkward. And that kinda made me lose my lane here in the early game.
He can dive me. No. That's so bad. My vengeance will be bloody. Gonna be hard to get my Chanel on my first recall after losing that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's good though. That's really Song important request that my midline wasn't wins meant that. for right now. Was more for when you are on the Lilas train. Okay, I see what you mean. I'm gonna have to try and hard push next wave, even though it's gonna be a cannon wave. Hey, they have a Shinshin on any team. Ultimate Everyone fate. Pays. Oh, she didn't recall. Okay. I gotta do my absolute best to get this wave in as much as I can. I'm gonna hit level 5 faster than her. That's the benefit I have here. Are you asking me in the ass? This is so unlucky, man. Losing both cans like that, might as well have. Okay, she was still level 4, that's why I could face check her. Stat check her, because of level 4. Level is the most important thing in the early game. I didn't think her E was back already, actually. <sighs> I am so upset with my gameplay here. The means are gonna keep locked onto her, but... Still so bad what happened here. This is gonna snowball super hard for her. My wave's still in the shitty spot. I should've been able to play at that bounce. I misplayed it, but the means cancel- oh, This guy is a GOAT! This guy is a GOAT! That guy is so much a GOAT! Can I get some salute to that GOAT? She's gonna lose the full wave because of that goat right there. He is definitely, definitely, definitely the goat for us right now. Oh. Oh, but piss off. Diana, can we wake up? No, we just keep running. Okay, fine. It's my bad too. My W should come out faster. Well, I agree with this game absolutely. Super, super hard. We're still fine though. We're even in gold, but I've griefed it so hard. I should never be 0 2. I died at my timer at least here the second time. She lost the full wave, and I should have also figured out that Wukong was actually topside again because he passed into bot. I should know that. He's actually there. And he got first blood, so he had the full extra long sword. Yeah, I don't know. I misplayed so hard, guys. Super, 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 super hard misplay by me. All good. Let's stabilize from here. The game is not over at all. Because we died on our turn. In fact, we're still even in CS. So we are completely fine. Everyone pays. I rarely forget and never forgive. Camille moves. I'm gonna use that timer to play out this bounce here, like so. Why is she roaming like that? Strange roam. Wukong should be bot side again. <laughs> that ult is not that optimal. It's good for the Wukong though. I hope he doesn't get 6. My Q poke is significant now. I get assist. Flesh carries weight. Reset my passive here. Take back what's mine. Aggressive for me. I gotta recall. She does not have enough wave here to hold this here. And there should be a plant in River actually that I could play for as well. If she wants to hold the wave. If she jumps on me, I have passive. I think I can win with the barrel too. Just scary of, scared of gameplay gold, baby. And Wukong is going to come into topside, so that's one thing I should consider here. Wukong will be topside again. So I have to push in this wave fast. I have passive here though, I can win. I even through Ignite. Okay, where is she? Wukong is topside.
I'm probably dead. So I'm gonna walk here. Yeah. I don't know where I should walk there. I know he's behind me somewhere. Not much to go. I, at least I die on my turn again. And Camille does not have enough wave there to push in this cannon wave. I'm not gonna lose much. So even though I die again, it is at my turn. And it is alright. I reset the wave. So it's not that bad, right? I'm still completely even with the Camille. But she is getting... Like, I should be ahead in this matchup. Even is not... Like... Being even is fine. But I would preferably be ahead. But you see, this wave is gonna crash by the time that I'm back to. So I lo don't lose that much. So again, it's alright though. We're actually ahead in CS. Never trust a build right. We're also not behind the XP. Beautiful. No barrels now though. Uh, this wave will bounce back into me, I think, actually. I'm gonna have a sense reaver. Okay, good. We'll fix it that way. Maybe I should have ulted in base, actually, not gone into depth. That's what I could have done as well. I got the XP too. Beautiful. Okay, we are still at one item, but... Oh, she's gonna keep hold. Yeah, we'll go as far as top. Oh, there he is. Okay. It's so scary to play against this. Keep a weather eye out. Okay, he's mid. I'll burn it all down if I want to keep her down by Q poking her. Come on. <sighs> I think I crit the Camille there, so I locked out really hard. Also, my barrel was a crit. Come on, man. Perma Bukong and Camille. I'm getting perma ganked by other people too, though. I'll do this. It's coming. Right, I was finally a good spot, and then the twisted fate ult. But again, I die my turn, and I don't lose a wave. Like I'm still absolutely fine, but it does suck, right? But like I'm still ahead into the Camille, which is very strange. I think I just actually freeze his wave for once. There's nothing to play for if I push it. I lose a lot of HP, but I do have fleet. My job is playing mainly into bot. Wukong has ten kill preservation. That guy is a strong monkey. Like I said, I'm actually still ahead, which is very strange, but it, it do be like that. She has Triforce now, though, so she actually has skill pressure into me. This is her spike. Damn, that movement speed is crazy. Oh, yeah. She wants to kill me. Are you kidding me with that movement speed, by the way? Holy moly. I shouldn't play that fast, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I am ahead, but not much. You can push this, by the way. That's so bullshit that I hit that guy, but I'll take it. Camille is so crazy fast now. Her Q bonus movement speed is 50% at max rank. No. Now? Why did I say new? No. Now? That was tier 1 boots. Look how fast she gets. 530 movement speed. That is ridiculous, bro. Not Losaros, I'm doing alright. You're asking. 
I just made my own matchup too volatile too many times though this game. Made a lot of mistakes. I mean Wukong is so scary, he's almost two full items, so I feel kinda scared to fight. You gotta be messing with me. You gotta be messing with me. More powder. My heart is no chance. I just get baited by the way. This Diana Pinks, why do I ever follow it? <clears throat> I know Wukong is coming. I know Wukong is coming, why do I walk up? Oh, guys, this is what happens when you're hungry. You become a pig. Because you're hungry. I'm agree for this game. On a regular, I'm still not that weak, but I, I've, I, I, don't, I feel completely out of place this game. Second Twisted Fate on me now though. Collecting one midwife that I'm going to the top. Voice. Maybe I should have gone Tavis this game. Most definitely should have gone Tavis this game. It is so grief that I don't have Tavis. She can basically dive me 100 to 0 because I don't have Tavis. Now I think of it. I should have gone Tavis. Yeah. Oh well. Let's try to see if I can make it out play it. My Lucian is strong, but I don't think Lucian can carry against these two champions. Okay, one defensive barrel. Oh, look at those items. You're acting like a piggy. Better eat a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. That's what I thought about too, actually. My level 300. I don't know how to play this game. I die too often. I can't play sideline that well either. This game said flesh. I think this game's too hard to play. I'm gonna farm up in the side wave. That's my best play. See, get level 13, see what I can do. Maybe get both tier 1. But that Wukong is such a threat. I'm allowed to play against that. I feel like anything that can consistently dash onto you is a hard counter to Gangplank. So like Diana, Wukong, Leona type champions. So unplayable. I need to wait for a barrel kind of. It's fine, waves coming into me anyways. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta farm up and see if I can uh, get back in the game that way. Just farm a storm. Make us. Well, that was our last stronghold. The first humble AD carry, though. I feel like every Lucian player or normal AD carry here would like flame the rest of his team. That's crazy. Respect it. 
I'm close to level 13 now. It's close to my second. I have my second item actually. Let's get it. I mean, I gotta get level 13 here and hope to outplay somebody. Probably should also switch my boots to Tabby sometime soon. Power filter. I was. It was just a joke, buddy. Diana, a few more items. I need to take the 1v1 here. Fight me. Oh, I got two assists randomly. I need to 1v1 this guy. Please jump me. See what happens. I need to at least have two barrels. Yeah, she's mid. Nothing he can do against Camille though, the Lucian. It's like Camille counters our champions so hard. Camille is just super good into certain champions, and unfortunately, Lucian is one of those. Like, Lucian just can't do anything when Camille jumps him. Just two items now. How about this? Um, I mean, maybe Lucian can try and like cheese or chunk somebody before the fight. We have Diana Kiana old combo. There are some things we have, but we're also super weak. I'm actually somewhat good in items now. I don't know why the Diana just took this. Legit five seconds before minute 20, by the way. That is so toxic. I'm gonna have to leave it to Lucian though. This could be okay. No, it's not okay. I misplayed it. I misplayed it so hard. Missed both my barrels. I deserve to die. I deserve it. I misplayed both my barrels. Well, we get a tier 2. That is actually massive. We got the shutdown on Wukong, we got the shutdown on Camille, and we got a tier 2 turret. I think we won that trade. We have money now. But we have to defend this. Shoko Prince. Shoko Prince. TM. Michael Myers is alive, though. Is Michael Myers doing it? We gotta play this game like a psychopath, kind of, to win it, anyways. Michael Myers is the. He's kind of locked in. Okay, Lucian with another 1k. This could be okay. Holy shit, he got one shot. Never mind. Oh, they're going for the Nami. Smart. Yeah, this bad one. Unless they don't do it. Please jump me. Be greedy. Keep a weather eye out. I'll hack my way back to Bilgewater. Okay, there's the It's actually going not too bad. I'm out of the fight now, though. I'm actually dead. Oh, good attempt. Can't we do Nash now? Uh, I mean, I'm out of the fight. I can't do anything here. We played that pretty alright, though, me and Lucian. I think Camille wants to TP on me here. I get second auto grade. 
Okay, we are three items strong. In fact, I'm the first with Lucian to get three items. Lucian is four actually now because he got so many shutdowns. We are actually pretty strong. Like we're getting back in this game. 75% crit now too. Next item is... Hmm. Should I get Zoya's this game against Camille and Cartus ult? I feel like Zoya is actually so good. I should go Zoya's this game. It's cooking, but I, it's so good. Two of the champions get complete countered by Zoyas, and I still have AP scaling. Zoyas is so good, actually. I ignored the Warner Dragon because it would delay my tempo by a lot. For nothing. I have one barrel only. Well, I'm just a pig, by the way. I also don't understand that Wukong is even bot here. I would have been dead anyways, even if I played it better, but... I'm so surprised he's both even. Also, why is there a 3 level gap in the AD carry somehow? My Lucian is not allowed to make a single mistake here. The benefit that my champion has is I made so many mistakes, but I'm actually still in the game. Yo, Felix, good to see you, bro. Okay. We get another chance. Oh, this is sad. Don't go into the river, just take the Nash. Always watch your back. Don't play into their hands. Just do the Nash. Easiest call. They played that so bad. That's awkward. Uh, My vengeance will be bloody. Trust nothing to chance. Okay, they're on soul point now, but Diana has two items, but she lost flesh and so have I. The sea has no memory. Why would she need that? I am sorry, but I am not giving my sideways. I refuse. Alright, Lucian lose both sums. That's bad. This guy has Terox and this. I could still win the 1v1, but I, <laughs> I for once have to play well. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna try and hug the wall to not buff the means. But they're gonna get buffed. Yep. Alright. Oh. That wasn't a crit. That is so unfortunate. 75% chance he dies. Unlucky. Unlucky. Only 75%. It was only 75% chance. It makes sense he didn't die. Right? It makes sense! It was only 75%! <laughs> makes sense. It makes sense. It just makes sense. Now imagine if I didn't in this entire game. I'm 3 and 8, I'm still 4 items, but imagine I wasn't 3 and 8, but like human score. Pays. 
Both me and Lucian need the spike. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna take it, bro. We all need item. I'm not sure if this is even the correct one. Should I get this even? Maybe this? Ah, YOLO. Let's hope that it just gives me some collected. He has no clans, by the way. Wow. Well, I got played, so let's go back to base. A turned back deserves a knife. <laughs> Alright, we got three items. He's, he's gonna be full build. I got four items. Like, we are strong. Diana's flesh is 50 seconds. That's gonna be in time. Mine as well. Alright, I'm gonna move with the team now. I shouldn't go side then. Against Twisted Fate, Wukong, Camille. I'm just gonna go put together and hope for the best here. This is the most important team fight. We shouldn't recall. We should stay on the map. Can we walk into the river? We shouldn't recall anymore, uh, but Camille's doing this. I gotta defend this. She's got an Angels 2. Alright, my team is to 4 before this one. Good luck, team. Did Lucian get hooked? Wait, no, they. What? How did they win that when Lucian got hooked? Oh, cards have played it. <laughs> Always watch your back. Words mean nothing. Flesh. Yo, Viper, thank you for the raid, bro. I mean, what? I can't really assist them in any way. Maybe I can sneak the Baron, Dragon. Okay. Guys, this might be really significantly it, okay? Just close your eyes if it doesn't go well. I'm just stealing the soul, okay? I'm just stealing the soul. Shh. They don't know. Mm, easy play. Easy. Took it right there. Wait, Viper, you drink one? Hey, let's go! You drink one? Let's go! Well done, Viper! Well done, bro! Did you do it with Riven or did- Wait! Wait! Did you do it with Riven or with Vayne? Did you do it with Riven or with Vayne? That's the real question. With Riven? GG. 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 Thank you so much, Viper, man. Congratulations on that rank one. Go get yourself an amazing dinner. Go, go do something nice. Well done, bro. Well done. Inspirational. Wait, Viper, are you gonna go to Korea this year? Do a Viper impression? Well, what's my best Viper impression? I I I don't got it. I can't cook it up right now. I'm sorry, my brain fried. I'm not sure. If you go, let me know. I want to go, but I don't have a traveling buddy right now. End of year, yeah. Most people are going end of year. I guess. Okay, we're gonna take this fight. Fight me. Okay, kidding. Kidding, 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 kidding. You win. You win. Please die to that. Close, actually. Oh, GG. <clears throat> yeah, I want to go to Korea, Vi uh, v Viper. I really, really want to go again. But I was thinking of going this, like, the second split. So, like, next month. But I'm not sure yet. I really want to go, um... Next month. I'm sorry, though, guys. For all the raiders that just joined. Unfortunately. Yeah, boy is tired. And, um... I am unholy hungry. 
I am really, 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 really hungry. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to ship everybody to another homie. But we can bless somebody with a good raid. Or a gamer 0022. I'm apologizing for my performance. And we're gonna go over to Jack Spectre. So welcome everybody. Um guys, we're gonna go over to Jack Spectre. Um other than that, uh, I have two things to shout out. The YouTube, you can check it out here. And then I have two courses that you can check out here as well. That is going to be it for me. We're going to go over to Jack Spectra, educational educate carry streamer. Let's go over there. I'm going to order either fried chicken or a kebab because I'm a hungry piggy. So let's see how that goes. And I wish you all an amazing remainder of your day. Thank you for the subs, for the bits, for support in general. And I will see you guys tomorrow again. Thank you, Power Filter. Thank you everybody for your support and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.